Your Honor, um, basta po, mailabas yung container. Yun na nga. Antin, binibigyan mo itong tao na ito dahil alam mo, ito ay nagre-represent ng isang tao na matutulungan ka mailabas yung shipment mo. Ganon yun. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, al alam mo rito, uh, Mr. Mark, kung lalabas ka at magsasabi ka ng totoo, di ito do mo na. Di ba? Dahil yung ganyan na wishy-washy ka, wala kang mapupuntahan dito. Okay? Diyan kasi sa customs, you work in whispers. Hindi naman papronta yung si Estrella na ako yung kukolekta ng lahat. Di ba? Yes. Pero itong Joel na binigyan mo, nung binigyan mo siya, eh, eventually, nakatulong na ilalabas yung shipment mo. Yes, Your Honor. Oo, na hindi binubuksan yung inyong mga cargo. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Itong si Kenneth Dong, anong uh, na-mention mo ito? Ano yung role niya dito sa buong uh, shipment na ito? Your Honor, si Kenneth Dong, eh, gusto ko lang po i-clarify din. Hindi po siya middleman lang ni Richard Tan. Mm -hmm. Marami naman din po siyang kilala nga, nag, na Chinese na nagpatanong sa kanya kung kaya niya mag-release, magpasok. So, not necessarily na kay Richard Tan lang siya. Okay. Uh, middleman. Ibig sabihin, player siya. Operate. Ano po? Player. Ang tawag doon sa customs, player, di ba? Hindi rin po, middleman. Hindi Parang operator. Ano hindi, hindi ko siya nabing middleman. Player siya, sikat siya doon. Oh. Alam na mga tao na magpapapasok na marami siyang kilala. Tama? Um, hindi ko po sure. Okay, bakit mo sinasabing, alam na mga Chinese na siya ay maraming kilala doon? Your Honor, si Kenneth Dong po eh, businessman po talaga. Oh. Marami po talaga. Yung clout din naman niya eh. Marami naman talaga siyang kilalang Chinese na businessman din. Siguro natanong sa kanya na uh, Ken, kaya ba natin magparating ng ganito? So, dahil kilala niya ako, nagparating siya. Nung, nung so, yun ang puro-kuro mo. Hindi mo alam yun for, for a fact. I mean, fair here. Yes. Yes, sir. Ah. Pero sa pagkakilala mo, sa pagka nag-uusap kay Kenneth Dong, sinasabihan ka ba niya, pasok natin ito. Ikaw ang uh, kuhan dyan, ah, uh, Ikaw ang nagbibigay dyan. Alam niya ba yun? Oo, oh, opo. Oh Alam niya? Yes, yes, oh, sir. Sige, tuloy mo. So, si Kenneth Dong, ay, uh, siya mismo ang kadil mo dito sa pagpasok na ito, shipment na ito? Yes, Sir Honor. Yes. Okay. So, final, final two questions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I was looking at... The, the clock, clock is dead. <laughs> Like, like the X-ray in customs, the clock is not working. And I don't know why. Um, Mr. Chairman, can I request just uh, a, a little extension? Yes, because, go ahead. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you leeway. I, I'm, in the, I'm in the zone here, uh, Mr. Chairman. I'll give you three questions. Okay, go ahead. Three questions. So, go ahead. Just go ahead. Don't, don't ask me anymore. If you're in point, I will continue. You, let you continue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'll now go to Mr. Kenneth Dong. Mr. Kenneth Dong, what is your relationship with Vice Mayor Paolo Duterte? Your Honor, uh, nagkakilala kami mga way back 2008 because I uh, expanded my first business, uh, first branch of my uh, wing scale company in Davao. So, how do you describe the relationship? Acquaintance? Kaibigan? Uh, ano ba? Acquaintance lang po kasi hindi kami ganun ka-close. Hindi ganun ka-close? So, but uh, anyway, may papakita lang ako for uh, the information of everyone. I'll just uh, show some pictures para lang uh, mas graphic. So, ito, ito yung picture nyo ni Paolo Duterte. So, okay. Magkasama kayo. Next photo. Ito, sino yan? Si Baste. Kilala mo rin. Okay, so you're basically a family friend. 
Uh, hindi po kasi ang ugali ko po talaga mahilig po ako magpa-picture sa oh, uh, mga galing. public ka. Uh, yan po yung problema oh, sa akin. Galing. Oh. Kaya naging intriga. Ah, talagang problema yan. Talagang problema yan. Eh kasi may senador na napakulong ha. Dahil sa picture. Okay. Uh, next uh, photo. Ayan o. Oh. Kenneth Dong. Paolo Duterte. So, ano yan? How do you describe that? Casual, uh, ano? Or... Your, your Honor, uh, yun po ato yung manuwala po sa social media, no? Ang point ko po, uh, Your Honor, ang issue dito is, kung may kasalanan ba ako dito sa custom issue, wala eh. Tingin mo na, uh, tingin mo na, relax ka lang. Darating tayo dyan, ha? In-identify ka ni, ni Mark as yung talagang uh, point person dito. Ngayon, tinatanong kita yung relationship mo kay uh, Mr. Paolo Duterte. Sabi mo, ano lang, uh, business-like, casual. Ito kasi may sinasabing uh, a picture would, uh, would, would, would say a thousand words, would paint a pound. Yeah. So, yan, yeah, no? may kita mo. Uh, Nag-words playing. So, malapit mo na kaibigan, Si Mr. Paolo Duterte? Uh, hindi po talaga. Hindi talaga. So ito, medyo ano lang ito. Ano ba ito? Waki lang. Waki photo. May kilala ka bang Mr. Charlie Tan? Opo, your honor. Saan mo to partner si Charlie Tan? Uh, hindi ko naging partner si Charlie Tan. Naging kaibigan ko siya from Davao. Kaibigan mo sa Davao. Taga Davao ka rin ba? Hindi po. You bet you frequent Davao. Ah, uh, hindi po. Hindi. So, papa, an saan ka naka-frequent? Ah, uh, mas madalas po ako sa Cebu. Okay. So, anyway, you admit na meron kayong personal relationship with Mr. Paolo Duterte. Paolo Duterte. Is that correct? Uh, sorry again? Ina-admit mo na meron kayong personal relationship ni Mr. Paolo Duterte. Is that correct? Opo, pero hindi okay. close. Excuse me. That picture, yan ba sa Facebook mo nakuha yan? Ikaw ba hindi nag-post yan? Kung saan, your Honor, hindi ko alam kung saan nakuha yung picture nakuha niya. Nakuha yung picture niya sa Facebook mo. Ni Charlie Tan. Ni Charlie Tan. Facebook ni Charlie Tan. Alright? So, kilala mo ba si Charlie Tan maigi? Kilala mo si Charlie Tan. Are you tight? Uh, okay lang. Do you hold hands with him? <laughs> oh, video lang. Para naman relax lang tayo. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Punta ko kay uh, Mr. Estrella. Uh, kilala mo ba si Sunny Dominguez? Secretary Sunny Dominguez? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Kilala mo ba si Secretary Bongo? Uh, just by uh, the name, Your Honor. I've never met him personally, Your Honor. Pero kilala mo siya? As a PMS Secretary. Just, uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. Itong si Man Scarpio, kilala mo? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Ito si Paolo Duterte, kilala mo? Not, uh, I did not uh, uh, meet the uh, Vice Mayor uh, personally. Huh? Never met the uh, okay. Vice Mayor. Pero kilala mo sila apat? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, let me now ask um, itong si uh, Deputy Commissioner Gambala. Uh, this is your final question because I'm being uh, nudged by Senator Aquino and Senator Pacquiao has been giving me uh, the look. Dagger looks and I'm afraid of Sen Senator Pacquiao. He might hit me. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Dep Deputy Commissioner Gambala, um, well, just uh, a full disclosure, uh, Mr. Chairman, he's my classmate from uh, from PMA. And, uh, the committee is aware of your classmates. Go yes, ahead. yes. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've been getting uh, information, or yung mga informante ko, uh, sa lima na, 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 na natanungan ko, ang sabi si Deputy Commissioner Gambala ay hindi tumatanggap. So, but, being there for more than a year, I'm pretty sure 
alam mo yung nangyayari sa paligid. Meron din kayong nahagip. Uh, coming from the service, innate yan, yung nature to elicit information, to process information, may whether raw, rumor, kung ano man. Ngayon, ito itatanong ko, nababalitaan mo ba? Nababalitaan mo ba na itong si Vice Mayor Paulo Duterte ay isang nag influence sa customs operations? Uh, Mr. Oman, can you be a little bit more specific? Because certainly, to be fair, yes. Bongo is an influential person. Senator Trinales is an influential person. So the question is vague insofar as this yeah. chair is concerned. Can you ask him directly? Um, directly what you want to say? Well, ganito po yan. Ano, yung sa intelligence uh, gathering, uh, that's where it starts. You get raw information. Then you process it. You validate it. Then until it becomes eventually actionable intelligence. I'm just asking, I'm pretty sure, alam ni Deputy, uh, Deputy Commissioner Gambala. Do you know, uh, Deputy Commissioner Gambala, if Paolo Duterte is intervening in customs? I really don't have a personal knowledge about uh, the vice mayor. Okay. Wa wala akong personal knowledge na tinatanong. Sinabi ko lang, dun sa sphere mo, merong kabang na babalitaan Nababalitaan about I, Vice Mayor Paulo Duterte. As far as I'm concerned, sir, I could hear uh, noises. I could hear pe uh -huh. people's names. All I could hear is about Dabar, Dabao Group. Dabao but the group. people behind it still, I still don't know, sir. O okay. Hindi. Uh, alam naman natin. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, I'm not putting you on the spot. Kaya nga, ano lang ito eh. Yung naririnig mo lang. Naririnig mo lang. Dabao Group. Okay na yan, Davao Group. Then, itong Paolo Duterte, nahagip ba dun sa mga, mga tinanong? Dun sa, dun, sa year, dun sa isang taon mo, na, napagkwentuhan na ito, itong si ano, whether binalidate mo hindi, o simple rumor, o hindi, yun lang. He was not involved in any of my conversations. Yeah. Hindi, 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 kinakualify mo, boke. Eh. Anyway, sige, I'm happy dun sa Sinabi mo na kinonfirm mo yung kay Mr. Taguba that merong Davao group na at least na babalitaan uh, nyo. Na naririnig ako sa Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Senator Chayanas. Senator Pacquiao is now recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, una kong um, tanong kay uh, Mr. Taguba. Sinabi dito, naniniwala ka ba o, o hindi na... Naniniwala ka ba na, na si Paolo ang pagsinabing Dabao Group, si Paolo Duterte ang, na, ang nasa likod? No, Your Honor. Hindi ka naniniwala? Hindi po. Tanong ko, bakit mo ginagamit yung pangalan niya o binanggit mo dito yung pangalan niya na hindi ka naman pala naniniwala? Your Honor, yung, yung tita na ni Jack at Small, yun po ang nagbabanggit nung pangalan niya. Na, I think, kasi sabihin nila, malakas ako, kay, malakas ako ngayon sa customs kasi dahil kay Vice Mayor ako, yun, sigo, yun ang sinasabi nila. Yung akin naman po, hindi ko kailangan i-verify yun or to, kung totoo or hindi, ang importante lang po sa akin, mailabas yung container. Ngayon, itong uh, anong pagkakaalam mo pagkakaalam mo dito personally na pag narinig mo yung Davao Group? Yun nga po. Um, anong pagkakaalam mo? Anong pagkakaalam mo uh, personally pag sinabing Davao Group? Pag sinabing Davao Group, your honor. Ano po? Na, yun nga po na malakas sila kay Vice Mayor. Yun po yung yun yung sinasabi po nila. Ngayon, uh, ibig sabihin And, kung... Uh, I advise the senators to ask specific questions because 
kung hearsay, hindi natin pwedeng sabi-sabi. Yan ang gusto kong linawin na uh, Mr. Chairman dahil uh, para uh, sa akin, hindi mo pwedeng banggitin yung uh, pangalan ng isang tao dito na hindi ka naman sigurado at uh, hindi mo pwedeng banggitin ang pangalan ng isang tao na sabi-sabi lang without confirmation. Excuse me, Mary. Senator, may alam ka ba na dahil dyan sa Dawa Group, pagdiwaan doon kay Gambala or kay Pyle Dawn uh, or kay Rino Massa Customs, nakausap mo, papapasukin ka agad yun, babalabasin? Your Honor, hindi ko alam kung isa sa mga ganong bagay, basta ang alam so, ko So, alam mo, narinig mo lang may Dawa Group? Yes, Your Honor. At ilalabas. At naglalabas sila ng container? Yes, Your Sinong Honor. alam mo na kinausap ng Dawa Group na nagpalabas ng container dahil sinabi ng Dawa Group? Your Honor, sila lang po ang... Hindi ko na alam kung sino mga kausap nila. Basta yung tita na nilang po ang kausap ko. <laughs> Narinig mo lang kayo. Hindi, kay, 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 yun po talaga, Your Honor. Totoo so po si yun. Tito Rani, pag narinig yung Dawa Group, ang sinasabi mo, papalabasin niya? Yes, Your Honor. Nag si Tita Rani, pag narinig niya, sino pa? Yung Tita Nani po at yung Jack po yung madalas kong yung Jack? nakakausap. Jack ano? Yun lang po yung pagkakasabi nila sa Chinese akin. Chinese yun? Hindi po. Pilipino? Pilipino. Tiga Davao? Tiga Customs? Tingin ko po, Tiga Davao. Tiga Customs? Hindi po. Eh si Tita Nani, Tiga Customs, di ba? Hindi po. Ah, hindi? Hindi po. O, paano sila nakakapagpalabas kung hindi sila tiga customs? Ang tanong ko sa iyo kayo na, pag sinabi ng Dawa Group, may alam ka ba sa customs na papayagan niyang palabasin ka agad yun? yun? Yun lang po yung ano nila. Pero tanong kita, may alam ka ba na tiga customs na pag sinabi ng tiga Dawa Group, lalabas yun? Yun ang kailangan kong testimony na marinig. Wala po. Wala. Saan mo narinig yan? Chispis yan. O may nagsabi sa'yo, lapitan mo ganun, baka may, may palabas mo. May nagsabi po sa akin. Sino yung nagsabi sa'yo? May, ang nagsabi po sa akin yung Jojo po. Jojo ano? Hindi ko rin po maalala yung... Tiga saan si Jojo? Taga Customs po ata siya. I'm going to put you in contempt in a little while if you, do, if you keep telling me all this baloney. Kilala mo yung mga yan. Batang stadium ka. Kilala mo si Jojo. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. May, may tuturo mo sa larawan? Yes, Your Honor. C Captain Pardon, do you have a man by the name of Jojo? Do you know? No, sir, but we will find out, sir. Gambala? Uh, Captain Gambala? I'm sorry, I, I don't know your rank. Is it Captain? Uh, I apologize if I called you Gambala. Huh? Yeah, former Captain, sir. Yes, sir. Captain? You're a Captain? Yes, sir. All right. Do you know Jojo? certain Jojo in customs? I have... I'm sure there are Jojos in, in our, in our customs. Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, Colonel Strada, do you know certain Jojo? No, Your Honor. Okay, Captain Gambara, if you know the Jojos, try to call your office and get pictures of these Jojos and we will present it to the certain Tagba... Ano pa ka mo? Taguba. Kalimutan ko rin din yung pangalan mo dahil ang dahil mo nakakalimutan eh. Y yes, sir, we'll produce uh, any produce picture sir, of... Yes, thank sir. you. I'm sorry, Mr. Pacquiao. Thank you very much. It's okay, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Alam mo, kaya kung tinatanong sa'yo, Andritso, dahil hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng pangalan na hindi ka sigurado. Katulad nung nangyari sa akin, nangyari ito sa... Gusto ko lang ikwento para related ito sa ano eh. May gumagamit ng pangalan ko na pupunta daw ako ng Canada o pupunta ako ng Australia before pa nangyari yung uh, fight ko, last fight sa, sa Australia. At humingi sila ng pera at pinadala naman ng pera dahil pupunta daw ako. Tapos uh, nung nalaman ko nung uh, malapit na yung ano na na tinatanong ako bak may may pupunta daw ako ng Australia dahil uh, uh, may event daw doon at uh, may may mga activities tapos na daw nabigyan na daw ako ng pera. Uh, yun ang nangyari, ginamit yung pangalan ko. Hindi lang isang bisis ha, hindi lang isang bisis ito, maraming bisis. Kaya ako tinatanong sa'yo kung uh, kilala mo personally o, o anong alam mo sa Dabao Group o anong connection mo, bakit mo ginagamit o binabanggit dito ang pangalan na Paolo Duterte. Anong, anong, anong alam mo talaga? Your, your Honor, kaya po nung sa Congress, sinabi ko po na executive session kasi po ayoko rin talagang 
magsalita ng hearsay. Kasi pag na-pick up po ng ibang tao, ma-misinterpret, isipin nila na yun na yung totoo. Kaya, kaya po, uh, nung tinatanong po ako noon ni Congressman Kimbo, sinasabi ko po na executive session. Ayoko po talaga sabihin sa public na ganun, nang hearsay lang naman po. Eh, kung ganun, kung uh, hearsay lang, wag mo nang sabihin. Kasi hindi ka naman sigurado eh. Yung sigurado lang ang sasabihin mo rito, yung alam mo. Pero kung walang personal knowledge, eh, hindi mo na kailangan sabihin. Dito, di ba? So, siguro, kasi matinatanong ka kung sino yung mga uh, connection o uh, nag i sa dyan sa, sa, sa custom, uh, parang may tinatago ka, eh, mahalata ba sa body uh, action mo? Especially yung uh, uh, pananalita mo. Para bang para bang kaduda-duda na may, parang may tinatago ka pa. When you answer, uh, uh, parang alanganin ka. Yan, na, yan ang nakikita ko sa'yo. Yan ang nakikita ko. Bakit hindi mo sabihin ang, ang totoo? Kasi huwag mong isipin na, na wala ka ng pananagutan dito kung, kung sakali. Pero kung sabihin mo ang lahat, eh, makakatulong ka pa. Tama? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Kasi hindi ito hindi ito ho, dandang libo lang na pinag-usapan natin na halaga ng shabu ang pinag-usapan dito, kundi ito ay billion. Hindi lang million ito, billion itong uh, pinag-usapan natin. At can you imagine 600 kilos, more than 600 kilos na shabu. Ilang tao, ilang tao, ilang mga kabataan ang masisira ulo o mamatay sa, sa droga na yan. Um, gusto ko magsasabi ka na magsabi ka ng totoo dito sa dito sa Senate para may itong investigasyon na to itong uh, itong hearing na ito may pupuntahan. Okay ba nagkaintindihan tayo? Yes, Sir Honor. Sige. Uh, punta doon kay ano kay Richard Tan. Nakakasalita ka ba ng Tagalog? Kung tidang Kunti lang. Uh, mabuti lang. Mabuti. Uh, mabuti sinabi mong kunti lang kasi may alam ako about you na you can speak Tagalog. Na makapagsalita ka ng Tagalog. May, may, may nagsabi sa akin na kilala mo uh, na ikaw nakapagsalita ng Tagalog. O, tapos nung last, last, last uh, hearing dito, sabi mo na hindi ka marunong magsalita ng Tagalog. Tinanong ka kung marunong ka magsalita ng Tagalog. And then, yung may lumapit sa akin, na yan siya, marunong ka magsalita ng Tagalog. Maniniwala ko niyan, sabihin mo na kunti. Mas mabuti pa, ma, ma, maniniwala pa ako. Okay? Ako kung hindi nang alam ng Tagalog lang. Tapos, mami, usap ako, hindi alam nang. Uh, ah, ikaw, kunti lang alam. Ah, kung hindi nang. Ano alam mo? Kung English. Kung Kunti kung ti in English. Uh, ayaw mabilis lang. Kung ti, kung ti, uh, ako kung ti ang alam lang. Ah, uh, slowly, lang. okay. Kajut, kajut lang. Bye. Ikaw ba ang nagmamayari ng, budi, ng uh, warehouse na dinalhan ng uh, more than 600 kilos na Cebu? Hindi, ako, uh, ako foreign ng dito lang brega lang brega lang home pay logistics lang brega lang so kayo po may ari ng bodega hindi bide lang foreign lang nagrerenta ka nagrerenta ka sa bodega lang na hindi hindi bide salamat hindi mo binili oh sige tama nagrerenta nagrerenta ka lang sa na bodega yes yes lang okay yung kargamento na ibinaba na naglalaman ng 600 uh, more than 600 kilos na shabu sa'yo yung kargamento na yon uh, baba lang ako hindi alam lang tapos uh, uh, siya 24 baba lang bodega uh, bodega lang ako hindi alam lang tapos sa uh, 25 up to rin ako ta, uh, China Kostong Tawa ako, ako punta ako tingin Tamakita lang. Ikaw rin ta, Budiga, mayroon dala doon na gargaminto. Ikaw hindi alam? Uh, 
，啊，个不哩个人，蛮蛮尼济人，因为啊个些，嘛，大家人，罗杰斯蒂吧，巴罗，呃 ，LBC 人，所以蛮多，啊，工地内分大人，爸爸、弟弟、伯人，所以啊个，我拉，蛮比是分大些不哩个人。Ano mo pong ikaw may, kung ikaw ang nagrinta ng budiga, ikaw may ari ng budiga, lahat ng papasok, labas-pasok dyan sa budiga na yan, lalabas, pasok, open, close, ikaw ang may alam dahil ikaw ang nagrinta ng budiga, tapos sabihin mo na hindi mo alam. Ikaw alam lang nung na-read na. อ่าก็มันมีกองเทนเนอร์บ้างแต่ว่ามันมันยี่เจ็ดมันอุ้งเขาส่วนอ่าก็วันละบริกาอ่าบินเซปุนตาอุบินเซวันละปุนตาหลังเนี่ยพอเราพบมันมีมันมีกองเทนเนอร์บ้างส่วนเสียมันมีพักกินิสหลังเสียมันยี่เจ็ดบ้างแต่ว่าติดอีกบ้างหลังอ่าส่วนอ่าก็อินเตอร์เสียอ่าอีสังหารอีสังหารออฟฟิศหลังตัวนี้มันดีกว่าอินเตอร์เดียน Hindi ko, hindi ko naintindihan yung uh, sinabi mo. Uh, ako lang siya, yun, malamig kong tine, ba? So, ako, wala lahat, hindi, ako, uh, long year talaga ako, logistic, ba? So, uh, ako, wala uh, bodega, office lang. So, ako, wala one way, punta isa, talawa. Wala, uh, totoo lang, isang alaw, isang alaw, uh, bodega. So, manong kong dine, punta lang siya sekretary, worker, manong talabaho ba? Siya baba, tapos siya tiribo lang. Excuse me po, ano? Natanong po kayo na siya na terpakyaw, sagot lang, oo o hindi. Ang sabi mo kanina, ikaw ang nagre-renta ng bodega. Ngayon ang tanong, ni siya na terpakyaw, ni maaaring hindi mo malaman kung may dumarating na kargamento doon sa bodega mo. Tama? Lahat ang kong bodega ba? Oo, hindi. Alam mo. Ako alam lang kung tinay pasok lang. Okay. At may logbook ka. Lahat dito lang manun ba? Dala mo yung logbook mo. Pwede mo bang ibigay sa amin yung logbook mo? Manun lang. Manun lang po office lang. Ah, nasa office. Nasa inyo na? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, my fault. Huh? Ngayon lang binigay eh. Ngayon lang binigay yung logbook. Go ahead, Manny. Yeah, Bisaya. Ang Tagalog mo, hindi Bisaya. Hindi, yung Tagalog mo, insik na Tagalog. Yung Tagalog ko, Bisaya na Tagalog. Kaya hindi tayo nagkaintindihan. Ah. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Ikaw ba nagmamayari ng, kar ng, ng uh, kargaminta na ipinasok doon sa budiga na rerentahan mo? Inti lang, ako lang siya, logisti lang. Inti, inti da, inti, uh, ay, lo, uh, los kako, inti ako lang. Ako tiribo lang, logisti tiribo lang. Ako palo THL, palo logisti, logisti ba? 
China import lang siya Philippine ako deliver ba? Ah. import ka sa China. Ah, import China lang. Uh, pero ano po ba pa sa China? Ah, uh, LOBC lang deliver, deliver. Go ahead, um, Manny. Go ahead. Senator, go ahead. Para hari ng padala. Ikaw may sababa nagre-rent ng bodega? Sino ang consignee sa bodega? Iba-iba, uh, hindi parehas lang. Pero sino broker service, sino, sino consignee lang. Uh, so, manami iba. So, sinasabi mo, hindi lahat ng pumapasok sa bodega mo ay alam mo. Ay, sa kayo, sa'yo. Hindi lahat ng pumapasok sa bodega mo ay sa'yo. Cheddar, dito paskinis lang. Uh, ano, kung tine, ano number, ano kailan, ano, sino tao, uh, ilan CPN, ilan times, uh, ano uh, number. Oh. Tanungin kita diretso. Ikaw may rinta sa, sa bodega. Ikaw nagrinta ng bodega. Okay. It, okay. Yes, Ikaw may rinta sa bodega. Tanungin kita, tanungin kita. Sino ang may responsibilidad sa cargo na pumasok sa bodega mo? Itong 600, more than 600 kilos na siya po. Huwag mong sabihin na wala kang alam. Kasi ikaw mismo nag nagrinta ng bodega mo. Ako bodega lang siya manunsiye, manunsiya worker, siya baba lang, siya lahat, pero LOBC ba, tala punta lang, baba lang, tapos siya manun pakinis lang, siya manunsiye, siya ba, hindi ako guest manami lang, guest manami, so, pero manun, itan siya, itan CPN na, itan times na, itan, so lahat, office na manunsiye, kawa lang, sama siya labor worker, ah, kawa. So, ako lang boss lang. Ako wala derecho lang. Siya hindi, ah, ah, hindi, ako isang, hindi, hindi siya, isang alaw, isang alaw bodega ba? Ako, ako long year talabaho. Ako 8, 17 year lang talabaho, doceste lang. So, ah, dito ako worker lang, long year lang sama ako. So, alam ano kawa lang. Sino bang in charge doon sa bodega na rilintahan mo? Ano uh, sekretary lang? Ano sekretary? Sino nga? Ah, uh, Chin. Ha? Ah? Chin. Chin. Ah. Yun lang ba, Chin? Chin. Ah. Chin. 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 Oh, Chin. Chin, whatever. Ang gusto kong malaman Ah, Jen so, Paano ba tayo magtanong dito ng ma <laughs> Alam mo, ako dahihilo sa sagot mo Ako tanong uh, 
Sorry, sorry. Sinong may alam mismo sa container na yun? Ah, sa cargo na yun? Sinong may alam? Hindi mo pwedeng, hindi, hindi mo pwedeng wala kang alam dahil ikaw may ari ng bodega. Uh, China lang is po lang is po lang kong dinay po na Philippines da, dahil ako alam lang uh, ako China man yung apat branchi ba so siya man yung is po lang Philippines uh, alam lang na ano kong dinay po na Philippines tapos uh, ano uh, uh, broker lang hindi broker dahil pakiyaw ba so siya uh, so sa iyo yung cargo na yan Ako pa lang ho, LOBC ba? Service lang. Service lang siya. Let me, let me explain. Si, si Richard Chen, tinatanggap niya ang lahat ng mga pinapadala sa kanya. Ang servisyo niya, ipapadala niya ngayon, nililista ng kanya mga bodigero, ipapadala niya yung mga gamit na doon nila sa kanya, doon sa mga tao na magdadala sa kanya, na pinapa, yung consignee. Pero hindi do, uh, pwede rin kunin ng consignee sa kanya doon o pwede niyang padala sa ibang uh, tao na consignee. Yan, San uh, Senator? Tanong ko, sinong consignee doon sa, sa container na yan? Ay, yung sa... Sa... Shipment na yan. Ako, ako, tingin niya pakinis lang. Manong pakinis ba? Ikaw ang consignee? Manong, uh, isang kontene ba? Manong pakinis. Sino tao, sino tao? Palo, LOBC ba? Ano, ilang CPN na, na ano number na? Uh, siya, ilang times lang? Ano, item lang? Palo, LOBC ba? So, siya, manong sulat, sino tao lang? Manong lang. Oh, sino tao consignee sa uh, shipment na yan? Uh, let me help, uh, Senator Pacquiao. By the way, your time is up. Uh, and with all due respect, I can give you another minute if you like. Uh, but uh, if you have any more questions, I will just follow your questioning because I think you are in the right path. Sige, inano ko, uh, inano ko, Mr. Chairman, yung, uh, yung uh, talagang pinanggalingan o pinag... Kasi lahat ito nag... nag ayaw nang angkin eh. Wala nang gustong umangkin sa, sa shipment eh. Yung, uh, uh, It is all in the... I, uh, may I ask... Uh, the staff to help you out because it's all there in the affidavits, if I may. Kasi doon sa, um, Mr. Sema, doon sa na, napag-alaman ko, parang lahat sila hugas kamay. Hugas kamay sila lahat eh. Wala yun na makakamin dyan, pero... Yun, yun ang ano ko, na. pero gusto kong iano talaga, yung uh, kung saan nakapangalan uh, yung ano, sinong may mga ano, Y yun ang talagang may alam eh. Hindi pwedeng walang alam. Hindi yung pwede sila mag magbulag-bulagan. Kaya yun ang gusto kong malaman no. dito. Senator, pag pinadala doon, alam nila kung kanino dadalhin yung gamit na yun. In other words, antarangin mo sa kanya, alam mo ba yung pinadala sa iyo na dumating doon na yung pala ang laman droga, alam mo kung kanino talaga papunta yun? May deliver mo? Siya deliver ako China Borega lang. Totoo man yung suda lang. Man yung suda. Palo ang LOBC ba? Ikaw isi deliver lang. Ikaw, palo ikaw LOBC Manisuida to Labao. Okay, ikaw, ikaw punta siya Manisuida Borega. Tapos ikaw dito item suda lang. Man yung suda, ano Labao, San Atelas, ano Sino, ano number. So ako kuha lang. So tapos, Talag punta lang, deliver lang, manong siya pakinis lang. Ano ang uh, nakalagay sa sulat yung sa, sa container na yan? Anong, anong mga nakalagay? Hmm. 
可以，可以，可以。曼曼伦人写，讲曼伦帕金尼是吧？来曼伦苏拉人，啊，安罗西西诺吉斯人，啊啊，南部人，那你都曼伦人。哎，安迪纳达侬写哟，哦，写写嘛，安迪纳达侬写哟，你先来这儿拍胶，这边嘛。伊讲安那巴巴兰达侬不得个，伊讲多马当个那么个 producto 咖喱是 China。Yes, dan China. Okay, tama ni, bah? Macam banyak kali saya China, parayon pangalan. Lah, Hong Pei, Dojis. Hong Pei, so Hong Pei China, Hong Pei Philippines. Ah yes. Si Mister So So To, ah, acara si Mister Aki No, ay kali saya China, mak papa dah lah tayo di to, ipa papa dah lah ke Dick Gordon, dadaan sayo. Papadala sa'yo at sasabihin mo sa akin, ando na yung kargamento ko. Tama? Yeah, yes lang. Uh, Tama? Uh, okay. Sandaan ko yung tanong ni Senator Pacquiao. With your permission, Senator Pacquiao. Sa affidavit mo, at yan, bago po sa affidavit mo, alam mong darating itong kahon na ito nung araw na yon, Tama? Siya, ah, to, ah, China lang to, ah, Philippines. China to Philippines. Darating yung... No, no, alam ko na yan. Darating yung kahon. Ito yung kahon na dumating sa'yo nung gabi na yun. November 24. Ano? May 24, sorry. May 24. Alam mo darating yung kahon na yun sa bodega mo. Tama? Yes. In fact, tinatanong ka, sabi mo nung mga kasama mo, ipadala mo na yan doon sa address na pagdadala niyan. Sabi mo, from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock, tinatawagan ka, ipadala mo na yan. Up to doon ng ako, Bodega. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Ang tumatawag sa'yo, Pilipino at saka Chinese. Tama? Tama? Yes. Pero sabi sa iyo ng Chinese na contact mo sa customs, huwag mong papadala, makipag-usap ka sa customs ng Pilipinas. Tama? Yes. Tama. Nung nakipag-usap ka sa customs, ang dumating ay si Colonel Estrella. Tama? Ang haba naman yung mag-translate. Ako man ang tawa, isang... Dito lang... Yes or no? Tumawag ka ba sa customs o ikaw ang tinawagan ng customs? Ako tawa siya. Ikaw tawag ka kay kanino? Tumawag ka kay Rainier. Ah, yes. Tama, Rainier. Pinadala ni Rainier si Estrella. Tama? Tama? Yes, yes. Yes, tama. Pagdating sa iyo doon, sinabi na sa iyo ng Chinese customs 
na may drogang dumating sa'yo. Tama? Yes, yes. So, sinabi mo kay Colonel Estrella, at dinala mo pa siya doon sa bodega mo na may drogan dumating na at pupunta kayong dalawa doon sa sa bodega mo. Tama? Yes, yes. So, Colonel Estrella, do you confirm that? Yes, Your Honor. At si Mr. Po, alias Pascual. Yes, Your Honor. Tama ba yan? Ano bang alias? Yung Po o yung Pascual? Ko, ko, ko. Ko, ko. Ano ang tama? Ko. Siyo. Ko. Ko. Kaya, yun ang tunay ng pangalan mo, Ko. Sa Chinese po, Ko talaga. Chinese surname. Pascual lang talaga. Si Mr. Ko. Alright. So, nagpunta kayo doon, correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Go ahead. Go ahead. One question. I will continue with Senator Estrella, with the Mr. Estrella afterwards. Okay, uh, last question to. Uh, uh, hindi pa ako tapos magtanong sa iyo, but next time, uh, i-review ko lahat ng papers mo na si, si uh, ibinigay mo dito sa committee. Uh, sa tanong ko kay uh, Commissioner. <coughs> sa mga pangyaring ito, kung uh, anong anong uh, anong action ang ginawa mo? Uh, doon sa, especially doon sa mga, I'm sure, may mga sangkot na mga uh, tauhan mo dyan sa, sa BOC. Uh, anong, anong action ang, uh, ang uh, ginawa mo para dito sa mga pangyayari na ito para ma-secure la, ma lahat ng mga um, kargamento na pumapasok dito sa ating bansa? Uh, yes, uh, Your Honor. The action taken was not done nung may pangyayari. In fact, to prevent this from happening, meron na po tayong mga uh, ginagawang programa. Yung unang-unang pinakamabisa pa kasi po kasi na paraan para mapigilan natin yung pagpasok ng kontrabando sa bansa ay palakasin natin yung kakayahan ng ating X-ray yung nadatnan po kasi natin, uh, Your Honor, is 16% lang nung kapasidad, nung kakayahan natin na X-ray yung may more or less 10,000 na containers araw-araw. So yung budget po this year, hindi po yun, ba, yung budget call po nun is dati pa ang budget. So ang ginawa natin, sir, is uh, nakipag-coordinate tayo sa DBM. Uh, the DBM agreed to make realignments of funds para makaprocure tayo ng X-ray na magbibigay na sa atin ng kakayahan dito sa at least 5,000 containers sa Metro Manila na dumarating na 100%. Uh, extreme machine natin, hindi pa talaga ina para ma-extreme yung mga dumarating na mga container dito sa ating bansa? Yes, Your Honor. Ang kakayahan lang po nung extreme machine na datnan po natin ay, ay 16% lang po. 84% nung ating mga containers, 10,000 po yan araw-araw, ay hindi po yun ay extreme. So, Uh, any one of those 84% na container ay meron pong maaring laman na kontrabando yan, ay hindi po natin nakikita. So, kailangan, uh, yun po yung nakita ko kagad, kaya agad-agad po ay nag-request tayo ng special budget sa DBF. At ito po yung pinuprocure po ngayon, na hindi po ito kasama dun sa regular budget for this year, Your Honor. So, ito po ay ina na na po natin, bago pa ito nangyari, Your Honor. Oh, sige, tulungan ko kayo maipalo up yung uh, pag-procure uh, ng uh, another uh, X-ray machine para lahat ng kargamento dapat ma-X-ray, hindi yung uh, dadaan sa green lane, dapat sa patutuloy na lang. Dapat lahat ng uh, kargamento, Mr. Simon, ma-X-ray ma ma talaga natin. So, thank you, uh, Commissioner. Salamat po, uh, Your Honor. All thank right. you, Mr. Simon. Uh, thank you, Senator Pakel. Let me just continue on uh, because this is important. The last hearing, Senator Estrella, with the permission of Senator Aquino and Senator Soto, you told me and you told the committee that you did not call Pidea. When Mr. Wang, uh, when Mr. Chen brought you to uh, his bodega, you already knew my drugs done, correct? N not yet, Your Honor. Oh, yes, you do. Until, you said so a while ago. 
No, sir. Uh, until the time that we were able to open the first crate, Your Honor. No, but he told you, and you said here just a while ago, that he said that he had drugs that came to you and was with you. The, the, uh, the information relayed to me, Your Honor, by uh, our counterpart is that there is a possible shipment of drugs that went out of customs. But, and, he, and he told you, to talk to Mr. Chen. Yes, Your Honor. And when you talk to Mr. Chen in the car, he told you na tatakot na siya, tinatawagan siya, sabi niya, o kung bahala sa'yo, at sinumahan mo siya because alam mo na may dumating na drugs. Tinanong ko po siya, Your Honor, kung nakita na po niya yung drugs talaga. Ang sabi niya, Your Honor, hindi pa niya nakikita talaga yung drugs, pero yung po ang sinabi sa kanya nung tumawag sa kanya from Chinese custom, na posibleng may lamampung drugs yung shipment na yun, Your Honor. No, no, hindi siya sinabi yung posible. Sinabi siya, meron na, and even if he said posible, dapat, tinawag mo na ang pideya. Your Honor, at that time, Your Honor, ang uh, ginawa ko po ay uh, sinikap ko munang i-validate yung information to make sure that there is really drugs uh, doon po sa shipment na yun, Your Honor. Alright, even assuming for the sake of argument, and you're making it more difficult for yourself because you already admitted it and it's all over the stenographic notes and in the affidavit of Mr. Chen and others. Nagpunta kayo doon, kung tinawag mo ang PIDEA, siguro nagplano kayo, stake out muna natin yan kung talaga may drugs. Ah, yung control delivery na tinatawag nyo. Sundan natin, nagpadala ka ng tao doon, sapat sa bodega ni Mr. Chen, abangan natin kung sino ang kukuha. Tama o hindi? Your Honor, uh, i-clarify ko lang po yung uh, tanong nyo, Your Honor. Yung pong uh, sinabi sa akin ni Mr. Chen na yung ang drugs po ay posible na dun sa mga kahon na yun at shipment. Nung tinignan po namin yung kahon, silyadong silyado po yung kahon. It doesn't matter. Wala pong... Uh, the point is, Mr. Chen told you the drugs have already arrived. And he told you that tinatawagan na siya na padala na dun sa... Kabila, yung droga. Alam na natin yan. Tama Alam po, na natin Your Honor. Na dyan, Tama, po. Tama po, Your So, alam mo na na may drugs doon. Alright? And I will apologize again. I will lower my voice. Alright? And I will tell you, very calmly, dapat tumawag ka na sa PIDEA, dapat tumawag ka na kay Mr. Feldon, kay Captain Feldon, dapat tumawag ka na ng backup. At sabi mo ng unang hearing, tumawag ka ng aso, Tumawag ka kay Captain Feldon at tumawag ka na ng backup. Sampu ang dala mo at dapat, pagdating nyo doon, hindi nyo pinasok. Nag-stake out kay doon. Inabangan nyo muna kung sino kukuha. Di ba dapat ganun dapat ang procedure? Your Honor, uh, kailangan ko po masigurado na yung eco-control delivery po ay drugs. Hindi ko sigurado na drugs o. Eh. Wala ko talagang indications na meron pong uh, drugs. Dahil silyadong silyado po yung lalagyan, Your Honor. Uh, Colonel Strader, I regret to tell you that every time you answer that, you're adding to what we call in law as incompetence and gross negligence. Because alam mo na na may darating doon, dapat tumawag ka na ng backup, as you said, dapat hinayaan mo nang pumasok, tinawag mo na ang pideya, at pagdating doon, kahit na silyado yun, kung may dumating, kinuha yan, You even said, kumuha ka ng LOA. A LOA, ang purpose ng LOA is to inspect kung binayaran yung buwis. Pwede na yun doon. Pero hindi nyo ginamit yung LOA. Dapat hinintay nyo. Del May, in addition to that, sinabi na kay ni Wang ng China, kay Mr. Chen, at alam mo na, na sinabi ni Rainer na may darating na drugs, kinonfirm ni Chen, na ando na. Dapat, pagdating nyo doon, hindi na kayo pumasok, inabangan na lang ninyo. That is what I would do. That is what I don't know if Colonel Villanueva, Captain, uh, Mr. Villanueva, you, do you agree with what I'm saying? You don't have to, you know. Yes, Your Honor. You agree? Yes, Your Honor. In other words, an, an officer of the law uh, should have contacted you, should have asked you, stake out na natin, may information tayo, meron na tayong solid, meron ng tesigo na sabi na ando yung kwan, abangan na natin doon, tama? Yes, Your Honor. Ganun yung nangyari nung raid natin sa Sampalok, Your Honor. Sa Sampalok. Ganun yung nangyari. So, hindi nangyari ito. At ano nangyari, pumasok si... Go ahead. Sige. Sir, uh, 
i-clarify ko lang po. Kasi po sa mga ganitong klase ng operasyon, Your Honor, magkakaiba po ang appreciation ng uh, bawat uh, commander na nag-a-assess po sa field. Yung pong pagkakataon na yun, gusto ko lang po i-reiterate, Your Honor, yung po yung aking appreciation that I need to validate first and see it first hand na drugs po talaga yung laman nung container na yun. In Your spite Honor. of Chen telling you the drugs have arrived? Sir, uh, si Mr. Mr. Chen telling you, I'm already afraid the tribe might get me, and you said you'll protect him, in spite of the fact that you already have official communication from China through Rainier, na puntahan mo at sasabihin niya may drugs doon, and you still want to validate? Your Honor, you all you have to do is say, stake out. Ano mo wawala kung ini stake out? Your Honor. Meron ba na bulilyasong ebidensya? Your Honor, yung pong si Mr. Chen, First time ko lang po na meet, so yung uh, aking pong uh, tiwala But, sa kanya, hindi po ko ganun ka kalalim. The first time you were told by China to go there and Rainier told you, I don't want to be arguing with you. I don't want to be arguing with you. Do not argue a lost cause. Because sinabihan na kayo ng China officially, sinabihan ka ni Rainier, punta ka doon, sabi mo si Chen, protect him, do not punish him, samahan mo siya, at dapat alam mo na na may droga doon at pagdating doon, dapat, in-stake out mo, kung tinawag mo ang PIDEA, tinawag mo, ang ginawa mo nga tama, tinawag mo yung NBI, pero hindi NBI, yung kaibigan mo ang tinawag mo. Dapat, in-stake out nyo. Kung in-stake out ninyo, inabangan nyo pumasok, nahuli. Would you agree, Mr. NBI? Uh, yes, Your Honor. That's true already. Captain Weldon, do you think that would have been the more appropriate thing to do? I have some reservations on the matter, Your Honor. All right. I have, I'm that. not an expert. That's why I leave it to the experts, uh, their appreciation for this matter. That's why I will want this investigation done thoroughly because I have read some laws that may not exactly confirm with appreciation of other law enforce, enforcers in this matter, Your Honor. Well, that's why I keep asking PDEA. That's why I keep asking NBI. We can also ask policemen here. There are some policemen here. Senator Luxon is a policeman, and I'm sure he'll tell you that. But let me just say this. Uh, anong yari dyan, imbes na in-stake out nyo, pinuksan nyo, pinilit yung buksan. That has already been proven the last hearing. Nung hindi nyo mabuksan, nakalagay nung nabuksan nyo yung crate, nakalagay doon, ay para sa bautista yon. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Nakita nyo yung container, yung uh, cylinders. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Ilang cylinders? Lima po, Your Honor. Lima. That's another bone of contention. Eh. Sabi, anim, sabi lima. Nung hindi mo mabuksan, ask for backup, instead of calling PIDEA, he did not call PIDEA, pero pinilit mo ng buksan, and I already asked Mr. Chen, how can he order, how can he agree to open it when it doesn't belong to him? Hindi Your niya pwede babuksan yun. Your Honor, uh, sa pagkakaalam ko po, dahil siya po yung may-ari ng warehouse na yon, lahat po ng uh, bagay doon, siya po ang may-ari nun hanggat nandun po And yun. because of that, you destroyed the evidence. No, Your Honor, we tried to validate if there are really drugs inside that container, Your Honor. You know, nag-mayor rin naman ako, at tubaho ako ng law enforcement sa longa po ng mga 13 years. Mag-chairman ako ng SBMA, mayroon rin law enforcement capability yan. Marami na rin kami na uli nagda-drugs at mga droga, we do stake out, we do our homework, and you are a colonel. By the way, it just occurred to me, you outrank Captain Feldon. Is that correct? In the Marines? Yes, Your Honor, because he, he left the service earlier, Your Honor. I know. And General Karma, who I see here, who I respect very well, is a three-star general. Is that correct, uh, uh, General? Two-star. Two-star general, sir. And I met you in Israel when you were commander of the Forces of the United Nations. Is that correct, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, yes, sir. So, again, this is a bad situation, and that's why when I talked to Captain Feldon, I told him, and I'll tell you what I told him, ang tingin ko sa kanya, he was over his head. Masyadong mabigat. At the very least right now, you're over your head. Dapat, pagkaganon, konsulta tayo sa abogado, konsulta tayo sa mga polis, sa PIDEA, konsulta tayo sa NBI, dahil droga na itong inahawakan natin. Hindi ka nangonsulta, binuksan nyo, bulilyaso yung ebidensya because hindi na pwedeng magamit yung ebidensya at sinabi na yan ng PIDEA, sinabi na yan ng NBI noong nakaraang hearing. Your Honor, 
Can Please. I uh, comment on that? Your Honor, uh, after ko po marinig yung mga komento na yun, I uh, did some research and consulted uh, some lawyers uh, also as regards to that question. Yes. Your Honor, uh, meron po mga sinasite na jurisprudence po sa ating batas na wala po ang pideya doon pero naging admissible po yung ebidensya at nakonvict pa rin po yung mga akusado. At meron din po uh, uh, mga jurisprudence na nagsasabi na yung po nga uh, aming ginawa dahil may written consent po si Mr. Chen na kami pumasok doon kahit wala po kami search warrant at siya po ay uh, isinabit ko sa, sa committee noong nakaraang hearing ay valid po so yung aming arguing search. With my, you're arguing with our deduction? No, no, Your Honor. Yes, I'm you just are. explaining. Because you consulted other lawyers. But let me tell you as a lawyer, you have a memorandum of agreement. There is a law on dangerous drugs that says PIDEA has primary responsibility or primary jurisdiction over all cases involving drugs, even over the NBI. But you can collaborate with each other, correct? Yes, Your Honor. But and you, uh, have an ar you have a PIDEA and memorandum with PIDEA and customs that you are going to cooperate and PIDEA will take the lead once it involves drugs, correct? That's correct, Your Honor. But right. uh, at that point in time, Your Honor, since we still don't have a confirmation that there is really drugs in those cylinders, we are acting as customs officers, Your Honor. Then why did you not? If you were acting as customs officers, you could have gotten, a, you got a LOA and the LOA entitles you to visitorial powers whether you pay the right taxes. But when you start opening a container, especially two days after it arrives, you need a, a warrant of arrest or, at the very least, a warrant of seizure and uh, detention. Correct? Your Honor, uh, Correct. my appreciation to that, Your Honor, is the written and express consent of Mr. Chen. Is Mr. Chen the owner? Yes, Your Honor. The owner of what? The warehouse? Yes, Your Honor. That is to get into the warehouse, he can allow you. Correct? Yes, Your Honor. You don't need a search warrant because you are not allowed you to come in. But to inspect a box that does not belong to him, you need a search warrant. Your Honor, uh, those uh, boxes, uh, while still at the warehouse, Your Honor, of uh, Mr. Chen, he is still the uh, constructive owner, Your Honor, of those uh, boxes, Your Honor. He cannot be the constructive owner. He is a mere depositary. Then the deposit to lang yan doon. Eh, ibig sabihin yung pera sa banko, pag dineposito mo, pwede buksan ng banko yung pera mo? Of course not. So, try not to argue uh, because, you know, man, man up. That is a mistake. This is something that can be taught in all the police academies, in NBI, and in PIDEA, and in customs. These are the mistakes that happen, and you should never do it because the evidence was botched. Kung pag-aralan nyo yung nangyari yan, balang araw sabihin, nagkamali dito, dapat hindi ginawa yan, dapat itong ginawa, ginagawa yan, yan ang na post-operation, post-mortem. And you're a military officer, you ought to know that. Every, every operation may post-mortem, so you do not repeat the same mistakes twice. Correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Thank you. Now, having said that, uh, you then continued and called Mr. Pyeldon. And Mr. Pyeldon, as the last hearing said, arrived at what time? At 9 o'clock, Mr. Pyeldon arrived at Hong Fei Aster between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Is that correct? He said that the last time. I don't have to ask you that. I I'm asking Mr. Pyeldon. Yes, uh, yes, Captain. More or less, Your Honor. Yes, thank you. And because of that, I have it here. Uh, you know how, para malaman nyo, ganito kahirap yung pinagagawa nyo sa amin. Eh. Iniisa-isa namin niya, may timeline, kaya mahirap, mahirap maka, makatalon. Alright? Mr. Fyldon arrived at Hong Fei Aster Warehouse. General Isidro La Peña of PIDEA was informed at this time and General uh, and Captain Fyldon, did you call Isidro La Peña of PIDEA? Yes, Your Honor. That is what he said. That Colonel Estrella said, did you call him? No, Your Honor, because uh, the Commissioner has already, had already called the Director La Peña, Your Honor. That's correct. But you also said you called La Peña. 
and La Peña was out of town at that time, correct? No, Your Honor, did not uh, said that, Your Honor. He just said that. Hindi, hindi ko po sinabi yun. Sabi sa Pidavid, the Colonel ni General La Peña, he was out of town, so he called Pidea NCR, Wilkins Villanueva. Is that correct, Wilkins? Yes, Your Honor. Correct. All right. Now, at 1.30 p.m., Pidea arrived at the scene. Yes, sir? Mr. Wilkins? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. And what did you see? The drugs were already on the floor. Yes? Yes, Mr. Chair. Nakakalat na. And everybody was handling the drugs. Yes, Your Honor. By several BOC personnel. You surmise. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, at that time, did you have personal knowledge where the drugs came from? None, Your Honor. And you were, you may, you may say that you were not in a, in a capacity to control the evidence at that time. Yes, Your Honor. And that's when you said, as a PDA man, that the, the evidence was contaminated. Yes, Your Honor. And why would you say it was contaminated? Because everybody's already handling the drugs, Your Honor. And that means, no man. Ano ba naman mga tao? Pag pinakilaman yung ebidensya, ano ibig sabi nun? Your Honor, we, we have such thing as the chain of custody. Correct. So the, the custody of dangerous drugs should be well written and well. Uh, there should be the chain, and you don't have the chain of custody when everybody holds the drugs, Your Honor. Yes. And had you been able to, if you had been called earlier, what would you have recommended? If they called you at 1.30 or 2 p.m. to tell you that there were possible drugs, what should have been done? Your Honor, this is what I should have uh, recommended or suggested. First is to validate if there's really drugs in those containers. So we, we, we can also open the container, but at least one container. And uh, after, after the inspection or after the quali qualitative uh, analysis of uh, the drugs, then we can proceed to, to uh, control delivery operation, Your Honor. Or, which is what you did when you arrived. You said, wala tayo magagawa, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mag-control delivery lang tayo doon sa Bautista, correct? Yes, Your Honor. But if I, but if I learn that uh, it's not Mr. Chen's uh, uh, property. property, then the, the right thing to do is really to, to have the search warrant, to apply for that search warrant. And that's what we did in Sampaloc, Manila, Your Honor. You're referring to the Sampaloc raid where you the found three, three, uh, three cylinders, similar cylinders. Would you say yes, they were similar? Very similar, Your Honor. Yes. Probably done by the same person. Yes, Your Honor. And yes. we believe that that's the same cylinder that was received by Fidel D on the second time, on January 9 of 2017, Your Honor. Are uh, you caught him with the previous cylinder? Uh, Mr. L Mr. D told us that he received a uh, similar cylinder, three cylinders, last January 9 of 2017. And after three weeks, it was uh, taken by the the Taiwan is that rented. So that was five months before the arrival of these drugs containing 605 or 604 kilograms, correct? Yes, Your Honor. So alam na alam nyo, yun na nga, kumuha kayo na search warrant. Dahil ngayon, bulidyasyo na ito, pinilit nyo pang ituloy. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, hindi na naging slam dunk, hindi na sigurado na yari sana ito kung hinintay natin at nag-ayos tayo, tama? Yes, Your Honor. So, nung sinundan nyo ngayon yan, Dinala nyo sa Bautista. Dito pumasok yung pangalan na tinuro mo kayo. Alam pa alam, si Ping... Ano? Yung kumatok. Yung kumatok kay Fidel Anoche. Pinawin. Ah, dito ba si Pinawin? None your honor. Okay. Mr. Pinawin, then knock. You didn't have a search warrant, but you went in. And... Fidel Lee, ano siya, pinapasok kayo, pumirma siya na nandun yung efektos at binuksan nyo, draw kayo. Tama ba yun? 
During that time, it was the implementation of the letter of authority. So PDEA does not have any personality. So sure. doon lang kami sa likod, sir. It was the customs uh, officers who were implementing the letter of authority. But as soon as we found the drugs na naandon, and PDEA entered the it took, it took, But it's not the control delivery. Would it have been possible or better na dapat nag-stake out muna kayo doon sa Bautista para dumating talaga yung may-ari ng drugs? Uh, as far as what, uh, as far as, uh, as far as I'm concerned, Your Honor, my uh, only interest is the consignee of uh, the dangerous drugs, which is during that time, uh, Fidel D. Because with with the uh, uh, Chinese uh, uh, Chinese sounding name D, so we believe that he's also a Chinese. So uh, as f uh, during that time, okay, na sir, kami na may deliver don at ma-receive ni Fidel D. Because on a control delivery, Your Honor. Because yun ang pangalan niya. Yun ang control delivery. Yes, Your Honor. Ano na yun, Your Honor? Three points na yun eh. Kasi na-receive na ng owner. Uh, yung dalawang Taiwanese, kaya pa natin na manghabulin yun if we could have uh, undertaken the control delivery operation dahil yung importation nga yung, yung na nakuha natin yun, sir. But for as far as the letter of authority, uh, possession na lang yun, sir, eh. Possession. So, uh, well, may importation. At kung may, may importation katulong, sana. Would you say may katulong sila? Paano na-import yung drugs? Sino-sino ang katulong na nag-import ng drugs? Uh, Doon, sir, sa mga documents na nakuha namin, it started from Hongfei, China. From Hongfei, China, pumasok sa Xiamen Dashau. From Xiamen Dashau, uh, pumasok sa Consignee for Hire, which is the EMT uh, created by uh, Mr. Mark Taguba and Mr. Uh, EMT, will you please stand up? Ah, oh, EMT siya. Yes, sir. Mr. Pero siya, sir, ay uh, kinumission ni Mr. Mike Taguba at uh, ang nag-broker... Mr. Taguba, doon, stand up. At ang nag-broker, sir, is si TJ Marceliana. So, nakumpleto, Mr. sir. Mr. Marceliana, stand up. So, in short, nakumpleto, sir, yung babagsaka ng droga from China. So, would you say, under the dangerous drugs law, kasama ito mga ito? Lahat yan, sir, na dinaanan, sir, kasama. Hanggang sa China, sir. Kasi sir, importation At eh. kasama si Mr. Chen. From there, diniliver ni Mark Taguba through his tracking to uh, Hongfei, Philippines. Upon the instructions of? Uh, yun sir, kasi yung, naka, yun yung, yung dulo sir nung, ano, nung container. At para buhay natin ang story, ha, dumating si Manny Lee. Manny Lee, kinontak mo si Ken Dong. Yeah, go ahead. Say, katatayo ko yung mamaya. Go ahead. Yes, please. Mary Lee, did you contact Kenneth Dong? Yo. No? Yo. Don't contact with you. Your Honor, may I repeat? May I request you to repeat the question? Napakasimple na nandano ko. Kenneth Dong, ikaw na lang. Did you contact Manili? Contact Manili for in what situation, Your Honor? All right. Ako bisag ko sa bisag. Gusto mo bisag ko sa bisag. Di ba to to na kakilala kay ni Manili sa Cebu? Yes po. Yun ang unang pagkakataon. Tama? La, uh, early last year. All right, early last year. Mm -hmm. And then nangangailangan siya 
na magpapalabas sa customs, tama? Yes po. Kaya kinontak mo sino? Kinontak niya ako. Kinontak ka niya? Yes oh, po. Si. Manny Lee, did you contact Ken Dong in connection with your desire to ship some goods here? Hmm. I will answer your question for you in your affidavit. I was just uh, trying yes, to wait uh, for this. Oh, trying to get harder. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Uh, hi. Uh, Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano Chinese? Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. 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 Ano nung kamag Tagalog? Hindi ko, hindi ko tinatanong ko. No, Your Honor. No. Hindi siya marunong. Okay. In your affidavit, he say, I met Kenneth Dong sometime two years ago in Cebu City. Yes. Nagnegosyo ba kayo, Kenneth? Ah, uh, nang bago lang kami nagkakilala, hindi po kami nagnegosyo. Hindi kayo nagnegosyo? Oh, nag-offer lang siya sa akin ng mga product niya, yung mga electrical wire niya. Ha? Nag-offer po siya ng mga mga produkto niya, mga electrical wire, mga oh. hardware items. Nakalagay dito, we then engage in some business such as the distribution of electrical wires. Is that correct? Opo, nag-present oh, po siya ng mga kayo? Hindi po, nag, uh, hindi po natuloy kasi medyo mataas yung presyo niya. <laughs> In September 2016, I sought his help to find me a broker for my Chinese clients. Is that correct? Yes po. Dahil hindi siya masayado sa kanyang broker. Mr. Dong was able to find a broker which I later knew as Integrity Trading. Do you own Integrity Trading? Hindi po sa akin, kay Mr. Mark Taguba. Kay Mark Taguba yung Integrity Trading, correct? Mr. Mark Taguba? Yes, Your Honor. So, pagkatapos noon, I'll skip the affidavit. Kinontak mo si Kenan Dong, kinontak, kinontak mo si Taguba. Yes, Your Honor. Kinunta ka rin ni Chen. Nakakilala kayo ni Chen, di ba? Hindi po. Hindi ka rin nakakilala ni Chen. Pero si Taguba... My role is uh, limited to uh, Mr. Taguba and Mr. Manny Lee. Alright. From very beginning po. Alright. Paano mo dinala yung goods mo kay Chen? Yung goods si Chen sa kay sa'yo? Your Honor, nagbibigay sa akin si Kenneth Dong ng pag sa ko i-deliver sa bodega. So, si Kenneth Dong ang nagsabi sa iyo, i-deliver mo kay Chen yung bodega kay Chen. Tama? Yung mga gamit kay Chen. Doon sa bodega po niya. Alright? Pero hindi ko po kilala si Richard. Okay, Tandu. tumayo ka. Tumayo ka. Stand up. Manny Lee, you contacted Kenneth Dong. Kenneth Dong, because you want to bring in goods, Kenneth Dong contacts Taguba. Tama? Yes? 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 Yes. So, sabi niya, kinontak, ano, ano sabi mo? I-deliver, sabi mo, si Kenneth Dong, sabi, may darating niya, i-deliver mo kay sa bodega ni ni Richard Ten. Tayo, Richard Ten. O, tamo, alam niya, tumayo eh. O, sige. O, o, sige. Uh, Richard Chen, tinatanggap mo na sinabi niya ni Kenneth Dong, i-deliver sa'yo, ginamit mo si Taguba. Tama? Yung kanyang truck. Ako lang kung tine ng siya siya manili siya pakiaw ba? Tapos sa siya kawat tapos na lang tibil tibil ba ako bodega lang? Bodega ano ko bodega kalang? 
ang sabi niya ni Kenneth Dong kay Taguba, i-deliver mo sa bodega mo, sa bodega ni Chen, yung gamit. Tama? At dineliver ng truck mo. Ha? Ginamit mo kunyari yung broker mo na si ha? TJ Martigliana. Right? At dinutusan niya yung truck, dalhin yung gamit sa bodega ni Mr. Chen. Alright? So, ang nakuha doon sa bodega ni Mr. Chen, Mr. Estrella, wala na si Mr. Estrella. Mr. Vidanova, ang nakuha sa bodega ni Mr. Chen ay? 604 uh, kilos, Your Honor. So, now, would you say, at inimbestiga ng NBI, tama? Yung nakuha ang bodega, the drugs, la una, kinuha ninyo, inimbestiga nyo, authentic drugs. Uh, yes, Your Honor. So, kayo yung dalawa ngayon, Mr. Uh, Mr. NBI, si Mr. Domingo ba? Gus De, Gu De Guzman, Your Honor. I'm sorry, I'm very bad at names. Mr. De Guzman and Mr. Villanueva, would you say all these people are involved in drug importation in this country? Uh, Your Honor, uh, please. Uh, we, our findings, the NBI findings, was already submitted early this morning at the ComSec. You have the copy of uh, the uh, case. And the answer part. is? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, lahat sila involves the drugs. Would you say including Ms. Tadad and Mr. the brother-in-law? Please stand up. We included them in our charge. Here. Including the brother-in-law. Uh, because siya nagpakilala ang nagpakilala kay Taguba ay yung kanyang bayaw ni Carmen Misatad. Our investigation does not does not include him yet. Okay, so sila may yan ang kuhan. At would you say si Emily na nagpahirap ng bodega niya ay kasama sa droga? Uh, no, Your Honor. Because she... Pakita yun lang, Emily, just, please. Uh, lend her uh, huh? uh, warehouse. Uh, sa warehouse ang ginamit. Yes, And under Honor. the law, sa dangerous drugs... Mr. Villanueva, will you please tell us why you say these people are all involved? Uh, because they facilitated the importation of a dangerous drug, Your Honor. Under Section 4, uh, importation of dangerous drugs. And I will read the law. The penalty of life imprisonment to death and a, ranging, uh, a fine ranging from 500,000 pesos to 10 million pesos shall be imposed upon any person who, unless authorized by law, shall import or bring into the Philippines any dangerous drug regardless of the quantity and purity involved, including any and all species of opium poppy or any part thereof or substances deprived therefrom, even for floral, decorative, and culinary purposes. You're citing that law. Actually, Your Honor, the brother-in-law is also liable, Your Honor. So, Section the brother-in-law, please stand up. Section 4 in relation to Section 26, Your Honor. Conspiracy, Your Honor. Conspiracy. So you're not saying there's a conspiracy to import these drugs? Yes, Your Honor. As, as you can see, the, they conspired to import dangerous drugs, Your Honor. All right. Now, uh, do you agree, uh, Director? Uh, we will check uh, on our investigation report by our agents, Your Honor, because uh, practically this is just the initial findings of... Yes, I understand that. I just want to make sure because... Uh, Senate, Senate President uh, Coco Pimentel wants me to make a preliminary report and I will consult the committee on that. Senator Luxon just arrived and I know that she has some information as well to deliver here. And I just thought I would make sure that this is the line or the chain, if you will, of how the drugs came in. Now, let me ask Colonel Strella one question here, just to add to my question of either you're incompetent or corrupt. Section 21 of, of uh, I'm sorry, uh, there is, uh, Customs also has a special anti-narcotics group. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And who is handling intelligence in Customs? I, Your Honor. You. You are handling intelligence division. No, just the uh, CIS, Your Honor. And did you coordinate with your Customs a special anti-narcotics group? At that time, Your Honor, as I've said, uh, uh, there is an urgency to uh, immediately move, Your Honor, and validate the information. There's an urgency 
to validate information. There's no urgency to call PIDEA, to call your narcotics from the uh, group, to call, you, had, you called the NBI, a friend of yours in the NBI. I'm telling you, what you're saying here sucks and it shows na talagang napabayaan ang handling ng kaso. Sir, uh, with due respect po, nag-coordinate yes. po kami sa PIDEA upon uh, confirmation that there is already drugs inside those cylinders. Nag-coordinate din po kami sa NBI at the same time upon confirmation that there are drugs in those cylinders, Your Honor. It should have been earlier according to Wistro Villanueva, right? Sir, kung mas And according po, to the memorandum agreement, right? You know, I can all, all answer your questions. And I, not because I'm better than you or I know the law better than your lawyers. It's just that we studied this and that's way, the way it is. Now, on the matter of dogs, you call for dogs. Are the dogs certified? Your Honor, uh, may I uh, request uh, Director Tibayan to uh, answer that, Your Honor? You may sit down. Thank you very much. Answer the question, please. Your Honor. Are your dogs certified by PIDEA? Uh, yes uh, or no? No, Your Honor. No. So, Mr. Villanueva, would you say the dogs found the drugs? I understand they did not, were not able to sniff the drugs. I was not there, Your Honor, when the dogs sniffed the drugs. Colonel Snyder, were they able to sniff the drugs? To my... Uh, Understanding, Your Honor, yes, Your Honor. How did they react? They uh, sat on the uh, cylinders, Your Honor. lang. No, Your Honor. Uh, I uh, made sure, Your Honor, that uh, they were uh, rested, Your Honor, when we conducted But you it. are a seasoned officer. How long have you been in customs and in intelligence? Since January 17, uh, Your Honor. So that should have been enough time for you to know. When I took over SBMA, it was an empty base, and I went to every building I went through every person who worked there and I asked questions. You should have done that. You should have found out that there was a there was a there was a memorandum of agreement within PIDEA that you have to have certified dogs, and apparently you failed in your job. Your Honor, if I may just uh, of course you may. Thank you, thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, there's a uh, jurisprudence, people of the Philippines versus Lavaran, GR number. 208015 October 14, 2015 and I quote, finally, as to the issue of non-participation of PIDEA in a bypass operation, suffice it to say that coordination with PIDEA is not an indispensable requirement before police authorities may carry out any bypass operation. While it is true that Section 86 of Republic Act 9165 requires the National Bureau of Investigation, PNP, and the Bureau of Custom to maintain close coordination with the PIDEA on all drug-related matters, the provision does not, by so saying, make PIDEA's participation a condition sine qua non for every bypass operation. I will agree with that to a certain extent, but in this particular case, PIDEA was available. In this particular case, your customs investigative service was available, but you decided to be selective. You just called your classmate. And besides, there's a MOA. So you cannot tell me that they were not available. Even the dogs that you used were not the certified dogs that should have been used. Your Honor. Yes, Dr. Mr. Tibayan. In as far as the accreditation of dogs are concerned, there, there is no need for the accreditation. But then, uh, when the post-qualification bid was present, we requested for two representatives from PIDEA to witness our, to witness the uh, consultants to serve as consultants with the narcotic testings. Okay, I will not dispute that. Yes, sir. If uh, I am just uh, uh, taking my cue from the author of the Dangerous Drugs Law. Yes, who is just about very, to speak. Very briefly, Mr. Chairman. Uh, nung araw pa problema yan, kaya tinatanong ko sa inyo, where did you, how did you procure those dogs? Sino binila nyo? Paano nakapag-training yung mga nakabili na binila ninyo? Actually, okay, sir, tell me, uh, we, Mr. Director Tibayan. Your Honor, we just acquired the services. It was through bidding. Nagdaan po naman to sa bidding. Sino nga yung binila ninyo na nag uh, lowest your, bid? Your Honor, Simog. Okay, yung Simo. Tinanong ko ang PIDEA noon kung accredited. 
Ang kilala nila, hindi daw, sabi ni Director La Peña. Saan sila kumuha ng droga para itrain yung mga, drog, mga aso nila? At anong droga tinrain nila? Marijuana, cocaine, shabu, iba-iba uh, yun. Iba-ibang aso yun. Ha? I cannot answer for that, Your Honor. Correct. So, hindi pa pwede yung sinasabi sa amin dito na inisniff ng mga dogs. Yung dogs ninyo, hindi natin alam. Hindi natin alam ang pinagsimulan, sino nag-train. I think we should write it off. That's not uh, But if I may, just very briefly, Mr. Chair, total nando doon tayo sa issue ng, ng PDEA, no? And uh, before Senator Laxon. Uh, they have you submitted already, um, Director Villanueva, have you submitted to us already the purity of the uh, the qualification that you have done uh, on the 100 kilos with you? I believe, Your Honor, our laboratory service has already submitted, already submitted the purity, ano? Your uh, Honor, uh, to, parang, to the, to the yeah, committee. Ang, ang reading ko, parang mga 86% yung pinakamababa, ano? Uh, uh, as far as the 100 kilo uh, uh, of shabu is concerned, it, concerned, it ranges from, ranges from uh, 88 to 96%. 88 to 96, Honor. okay. So, so mataas-taas ang purity nito. Yun, NBI? NBI, because we're talking of 500 other kilos that are nasa NBI na hindi uh, pa tinuturn over. As we understand have, this... Have you turned it over to PDEA already? Not yes, yet. Your Honor. Yes. And, uh, and uh, the PDEA now is handling the uh, qua qualitative uh, result of uh, the... Ano qualitative result nitong 500 uh, nasa inyo? On the average? As to the percentage of purity... Uh, there is this nine, the highest uh, purity percentage is 96.62, mm. the lowest of which is 79.43. All right, that's uh, kind of low. So I'll be from 79 to 96, all right. The reason, Mr. Chair, and I would like to place it on record, the reason I'm bringing this up, eh baka... Itong pinahuli talaga sa atin ito eh. Papasok ito eh. Dahil hindi 98 ang purity, 98%, 95 to 100% ang purity. Yung 95 to 100% ang purity, based on intelligence uh, reports also, pagdating dun sa mga mega shabu laboratory sa atin dito, and we suspect that there is one Visayas right now involved in this uh, importation, hinahalo pa nila, dinidilute pa nila yan eh, di ba? Director Villanueva, uh, director, uh, Deputy Director. Please answer to the microphone. Dinidilute pa nila yan eh. Uh, there's, there's a report, Your Honor. Yes, precisely. And uh, the latest one is that uh, this importation, and I hope you can investigate, is connected to that mega shabu laboratory in the Visayas. Uh, nag-import nito. And nando doon yung unang three cylinders at perhaps meron pang nauna na nakalusot din sa customs. Na hindi natin alam kung paano nangyari. So, be, be, be very worried about the, the purity of these drugs. Pwedeng pinahuli sa atin yung 80, 79%. Pero yung 98%, yun yung didistribute pa nila. And by the way, total, nakikinig sa atin yan. Pati yung mga street push yan, nakikinig sa atin. Uh, para para malaman nila, yung binibenta nilang ranging from 1,500 to 2,000 per gram up to 8,000 per gram, ano, bali lumalabas mga dalawang milyon na isang kilo. Ang isang kilo, ang precursor substance ng halaga lang niyan ay sampung libo. Parang luko-luko itong mga street poser na, na, uh, na, na, na laki ng kinikita nito mga drug organizations na to sa kanila. Eh sila na huhuli, kundi ba naman sila saksakan ng tanga. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I have to ask this question. <coughs> I'm sorry, General Lapeña is here, but I can ask yeah, will, uh, uh, Colonel Villanueva and... Uh, and uh, Assistant Secretary Quinto, Your Honor. Secretary? Assistant Secretary Quinto, Your Honor. Quinto? Did you take your oath, sir? 
Yes, Your Honor. And you are Secretary Quinto of uh, Mr. Ricardo Quinto. Ano I position po niya? Uh, Deputy Director General for Operations of PDEA, Your Honor. Head of Operations. Yes, Would you say that we were taken for a ride here by certain elements outside the country? Ipinasyal ba tayo sa labas? Ang ating kalabas? Na in view na may nahuli pa kayo sa labas sa NBI na dumating pa noong January na nagpapasok ng ganitong halaga pero ito na nga ang huling hinahabol namin eh sampa pumunta yung ibang mga droga at sinabi na ni Mr. Villanueva last time na may mga pumasok natitiyak natin at ako rin I agree with that would you say parang pinasyal lang tayo dito para may panalo tayo ng konti pero ang totoo bumahapa sa mga dami-dami araw-araw may nahuli sa buhi araw-araw may na papatay na in connection with Shabu ano ho ang inyong kuro-kuro palagay ko Opinion. your honor uh, mayroong uh, nakalusot maliban po dito sa nahuli uh, we agree with that but is there pinasal ba tayo dito kunyari lang ito pero ang, ang pumasok mas marami Maari, Your Honor. Maari o nangyari? After Sampalok? Sampalok, di ba? Uh, NBI? Actually, uh, Your Honor, uh, the NBI made a major apprehension last December. That was... Uh, apprehended in uh, San Juan, Metro Manila. That, that uh, total something like about 800 something kilos. Bigger than this one? Yes, Your ah, Honor. So this is the second big one? Yes, Your Honor. And uh, we were when able... When was that? Last December 2016, Your Honor. Oh. That is bigger than this one. So uh -huh. our... Uh, uh, our uh, narcotics agents from the NBI uh, was able to uh, uh, apprehend, including Chinese uh, personalities and uh, some Sir, local personalities involved in that. Uh, Sir, were these mainland Chinese that you arrested? Come again, Your Honor. Mainlanders. Uh, Yes, Your mainland. Honor. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, would you say that there is a uh, continuous effort to try and flood the Philippines with drugs? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, as, uh, the reason I, why I say that is last night I heard the president. I was shocked. I was shocked. And the president said, I cannot finish the drugs in six years. I, I think so, Your Honor. Because despite the government's effort in combating this. Uh, uh, drug uh, uh, entry in the country is still there are uh, uh, syndicates who are into this and as a matter of fact uh, this is uh, one of the uh, this uh, 600 oh, those 800 kilos that you got where did that come from I think it came from customs again for no your honor because we were able to uh, we were able to hold it in a uh, in an apartment somewhere in San Juan, Metro Manila. My question is, how did it get in? Where did it Okay, Your Honor, please can I you to the our uh, narcotics who investigated that case? Please, and raise your hand as you do that. What is your name, sir? I'm, at I'm attorney Ross Jonathan Galicia, Your Honor. Sir? Ross Jonathan Galicia, Your Honor. Attorney Galicia? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Could you please raise your right hand? Do you, sir, affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this proceeding? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sampu galing sa tingin nyo yung drugs. Paano pumasok? 
Your Honor, we're still looking into the entry oh, of the drugs that we were able to seize in San Juan. Although we have some leads, Your Honor, because of the documents that were um, thrown away and destroyed by the drug trafficker, we're having a hard time establishing what, where the drugs came from, Your Honor. But Chinese are involved? Uh, yes, Your Honor, but according to our tactical interrogation, he said that it came from the Bureau of Customs. It entered our customs. Came from our customs? Yes, Your Honor. You see, that is why I was shocked. Galing sa customs, yung maliliit na grabo na uli sa labas, marami na mamatay rin. Kaya sabi ng Presidente, eh kung galing ang baha sa customs, galing pa sa mga isla, sabi ng Presidente, eh talaga kailangan saran natin ng gripo dito sa customs. Sikipitan natin, matatalo yan kung lahat tayo magtutulong-tulong, lalo na sa customs, NBI, PIDEA, mas magagaling na huhuli, at all over the country, bawat barangay, kaya pupuspon yung barangay eleksyon nga eh. Dahil na, uh, ang presidente sabi nila eh, majority ng mga barangay captains halos eh, or almost 49% ay drug infested yung mga barangay natin. Hindi ko sinasabi yung barangay captain ay involved, pero may infestation. So ang sinasabi natin dito, kaya kung lahat magtutulungan, hindi po ba? Tama po ba yan? I think parang nadidiscourage ang Presidente, but I don't think so. I know him enough to know that he is not discouraged. Lalo lala ka siguro loob niya ngayon dahil at least mayroong magmamalasakit, kung magmamalasakit. Di ba? At quite frankly, let me tell you, I'm impressed with the professionalism of the NBI and the PIDEA in this particular matter. I don't know about others, but so far I have nothing but high uh, praises for your reaction and for your participation here. Thank you very much. Uh, your Honor, please. Uh, actually, it's the team of uh, Attorney Galicia who led the uh, seizure of uh, the three uh, containers in... Cylinders. Uh, three cylinders three again. cylinders. And, and, uh, in and where do you think it came from? Uh, you handle the investigation of this. I'm sorry, sir. Kung di ko kayo kilala, mukhang Chinese na rin kayo sa akin eh. Sir? Yes, sir. Where do you think that came from? Saan okay. galing po Sir, yan? based on the cell phone that we were able to recover it from the premises, uh, the shipment came from uh, Hong Fei. Hong Fei rin? Yes, sir. And uh, we were just getting the miller plating today. So I think that the uh, integrity was the consignee of that particular shipment. So do you think these people should be arrested already? Based on the... Uh, yes or no? Based on the evidence? Your Honor, we did not investigate the first batch of 500 kilos, Your Honor. But the 100 kilos that you got... Uh, Some all people can all be arrested got, for that. Your Honor, uh, were three cylinders containing uh, traces or presence of graduates. Do you of, think you have a good case, uh, Wilkins? You don't have a? Uh, we're still looking. Uh, there's one box missing uh, as far as the importation is concerned, Your Honor. But with what you have right now, with the class of characters presented here, do you think you have a good case for violation of the, drug, uh, the dangerous drugs law? Yes, Your Honor. You do? Yes, Your Honor. Does NBI agree? Uh, yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, and then uh, a, sh a short one because yes. uh, then Senator Luxon, so I know that he has got... Very quickly lang, oh, bubuhin ko lang yung, yung kwento. Kung merong binayaran yung mga tumayo kanina sa BOC, para makapasok nitong shipments na ito, kasama ba sila sa kaso o hindi? Uh, Your Honor, please. That's why I was... The case that we uh, filed against uh, uh, the name respondents uh, yes. in uh, our uh, charge sheet is just the initial... Uh, initial findings, findings uh -huh. of the NBI. Uh, Mr. De Guzman, let me just ask the question. Kung meron hong public officials 
or private individuals na kumuha ng pera para makapasok yung containers na yun, with or without their knowledge kung ano yung laman doon, are they also liable for this crime? Uh, I think so, Your Honor. Alright. At yung mga pangalan, pinangalanan, let me ask uh, Mark Taguba, yung mga pinangalanan mo na mga tao, were you referring to this shipment or in general? In general, Your Honor. But itong shipment na to, kasama yan sa in general? Your Honor, ikinocontest ko pa rin na doon pa rin ng kailangan pa lang magpalabas ng CCTV na doon nilabas yung drugs. Hindi, so, tatanungin kita, itong particular shipment na ito, may mga binayaran ka ba para malabas yung shipment na ito? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. At yun yung mga binanggit mo in the last hearing? Yes, Your Honor. All right. NBI, uh, Director Di Guzman, kasama ho ba sila sa mga niimbestigahan ninyo, yung mga pinangalanan ni Mr. Taguba? I, as I said, uh, Your Honor, uh, we ha we are now in the second phase of yes or no our investigation. Yes or no. Uh, we have yet to uh, come up with, the, uh, with our findings. Your Alright. Honor. Kasi meron na siyang mga pinangalanan na tao. If indeed, yung mga taong tumayo po kanina, may mga binabayaran sa ating government officials upang makapaglabas ng shipment na may droga, as you said earlier, kasama sila sa kaso. Tama ho. Yung mga pinangalanan po ni Mr. Taguba, sabi ho niya ngayon, kasama sila dun sa paglabas ng shipment na ito. So, will you be investigating? Because puro mga first names eh. Will NBI be trying to find out totoo nga ba ito? Talaga nga ba silang nabayaran o hindi? Are they even real people or not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. That's the reason why we are investigating uh, uh, that uh, allegations. We need to support it. Not just a mere allegation of, of Mr. Taguba, we need to have something uh, to stand for uh, that statement of Mr. Taguba. All right. Pero yung kanyang statement, at the minimum, means you must investigate. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Very quickly, kay Commissioner Fildon, nag-internal investigation na rin po ba kayo? Dito sa kasong ito? Yes, Your Honor. Yung mga napangalanan po ni Mr. Taguba, are they being investigated right now? Uh, yes, Your Honor. The investigating uh, service is now conducting that investigation, Your Honor. Although kasama rin sila sa mga napangalanan? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have an independent uh, investigation within the Bureau of Customs regarding these individuals? In two weeks ago, Your Honor, I wrote a letter to the President requesting for an independent and full-blown investigation of this matter because I believe the uh, Bureau of Customs investigation may not be so acceptable to the public. Okay. Uh, I know that as early as two weeks ago. That's why I've requested uh, uh, the President to... to At itong NBI investigation, ito na ba yung third-party investigation na tinutukoy po ninyo? Ye yes, sir, and that's why we, we will uh, we have discussed yesterday to also write a letter to the uh, NBI DOJ to conduct an investigation of our own people uh, uh, mentioned in uh, this investigation because uh, I would really like to come up with a credible result of right. investigating investigation involving our personnel, Your Honor. Just a final question, um, Commissioner Fildon. Naniniwala ho kayo na dahil may naglalagay nakapasok po ang shipment na ito. At this point, na may rami na hong nagsalita, marami na pong nagsabi, yun po ba ay painiwala rin ninyo? Na kaya nakapasok ito dahil meron pong naglalagay sa customs? Yung lagayan as Mark Taguba has mentioned, I believe there is. And whether, of, whether or not the specific payment made is the entry of these drugs, is what I really don't, I want to find out. All right. So because possibly for the general uh, entry of commodities, this Tara system have been there. I, I've, I've heard about it even before I joined the bureau. So I believe there is a Tara system in the bureau to facilitate uh, the entry of their uh, commodities. Oh, kung kung ano ano, pero hindi ho siguro drugs yan until no. maybe these shipments have come in. Yes, sir. That's why I really want to find out whether there are really people who have knowledge of this, the entry of these uh, drugs to the country, Your Honor. All right. So, as a final question, kasi in aid of legislation lang kami, Mr. Chairman, marami ho nagsasabi, nagbubulong-bulong, 
hindi mo na maayos yung customs, no? Wala ka nang magagawa dyan. And I've said in public, kulang yung pagpalit ng tao. Kahit ho, kayong lahat mag-resign, kung hindi po nagbabago yung sistema, ganun nun lang eh. So, pag sinabi ho natin systemic uh, commissioner file doon, ano, ano talaga yung itutukoy natin na pagbabago sa sa BRR? Privatized ba ito? Merong nagsuggest tripartite yung uh, tumatanggap ng ating containers, merong open, transparent, open to the public. Ano sa tingin ninyo yung pinakamainam na paraan para matigil na po yung pagpasok ng mga droga at uh, smuggled items sa ating bansa? Thank you, Honor. I believe this problem at the Bureau is, can be resolved easily. Easily? Because, yes, sir. Because these are all human, done by human, by people. So we can resolve it. First is we have to address the issue of the structure of the Bureau. Now, we, because there are some functions there that are not covered by the current functions or the structure of the Bureau. Now, that's why, based on the new CMTA passed into law last year, we have already come up with the new structure of the Bureau. In fact, we have already submitted that at the Department of Finance for their review. Because there are very important functions of the Bureau based on the new CMTA law that is not covered by the current system. So restructuring is very important. Based on this restructuring, we have proposed, nasa DOF na po ito, the other important functions will crop up. Like, the way we we recruit our personnel, Your Honor. This is very crit critical in any law enforcement agency. The recruitment of personnel, because the root of all this evil at the Bureau is corruption. So we must be able to put in place a stringent process of selecting Pero, mo, personnel. Commissioner, if I may cut you lang, kasi other senators want to ask also. Kulang ata yung pagpapalit lang ng tao. Because, ang sabi nga ako dito sa likod, eh, umuulan ng pera dyan. Kahit sino, tao lang, pwedeng matempt, no? So, baka ho, hindi sapat na tao lamang yung papalitan natin o struktura lamang, sistema ho yung kailangan ho nating palitan dyan, no? Now, uh, maybe, kasi I'm sure si Chairman has other questions, Senator Laxon has other questions. Uh, tingin nyo po ba, dahil sa nakakompromisong mga tao sa customs, kaya napadali ang pagpasok ng drogang ito? That's a possibility, Your Honor. So you're open to that possibility? Yes, Your Honor. At kung sino pa man yan, wherever they are, whoever they are, kayo pa man sila konektado, liable po sila sa pagpasok ng droga sa ating bansa. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just have a, a brief follow-up. This case occurred na, uh, May 17. I found out about it on May 25th. It has taken us three months, and it has to be Congress that broke it open, the Senate first and the lower house. Upon an expose allegedly made, affecting customs made by Ted Filon, when I listened to his broadcast, I asked about it, and I opened up the investigation. How come it took you that long? Kundi pa nabuksan ito, wala na mangyayari. Three months, or two and a half months ago, nung, nung binabuksan natin ito. So, paano natin mababago kung ganun katagal? Captain? Yes, sir. My understanding, and this is the briefing to me by the intelligence service, is from the very day that is on the 26th, the custody of the drugs and the mandate to investigate the persons involved in this smuggling of drugs outside the bureau, meaning the non-bureau personnel, is no longer our mandate. That's why the investigation of uh, the, the whole smuggling of drugs, that is my understanding from May 26, is no longer the mandate of the bureau, but the mandate of uh, the, law inf the other law enforcement so agencies. Uh, let me, let me, I'm sorry I have to interrupt you. Uh, there was another, and I, that, that boggles my imagination, 800 kilos. Nahuli in November ba? November? 
Oh, December? Uh, last December. Uh, last for December. the correct uh, uh, kilograms, Your Honor, is 890 oh, almost kilos. Oh, 900 kilos. Plus yung liquid, uh, liquid uh, shabu. So, and dalawa na yan. Samaron. Yes. November, December. You took over in July. Yes, Your Honor. And these big hunks of uh, drugs have been coming in. And until we opened it, we knew about Tara, but finally somebody's pointing fingers. But nobody has pointed a finger yet. After three months from your office, kung paano naging green lane, itong importation ito. Paano naging green lane? Meron kang dapat malaman natin. No? Una, in re organize yung may sinasabi mong gagawin ninyo sa customs na re organize yung customs yung command and control it's uh, it's just one small part of the restructuring your honor but you do know there is criticism that it centralizes decision making to the point na hindi na mapipigil yung lalabas wala na makapagsasabi na may lumabas sapagkat kailangan dumaan pa kay Captain Gambala or sayo in writing your recommendation. At kung wala kayo doon, nakalabas na. Tama po ba yan? That is not what the Comsen is all about, Your Honor. No, no, no. no. But, but that is way, that is one facet of its operation. I, I, I operate a command, I, you know, I always have a command and control system, even in Subic, even in Longapo, and now in the Red Cross. I know how it operates, and I know it may be different from yours. But the way I understand it, you know, ano lahat ng decision making at yung sa alert sa baba hindi na makapag alert kailangan magre recommendation pa kahit ang port of Subic port of Cebu mag alert dadaan mo na sa inyo sa port of Manila dadaan mo na sa inyo so lahat ng alert na sa inyo so mas madaling makalusot at proof ang lalaki nito ng lumabas ito sir that no no we we have to understand before you answer the question. Na kung may palpak, let's fix it right away. I'm not fixing the blame. I'm trying to fix the problem. Alright? Kung nakakalos sa tagalon, dapat, oops, meron tayong diferensya dyan, dapat siguro fine-tune. Do you agree? Yes, sir. Fixing the problem, I agree with your, your honor. Right. Okay. So, that is one problem. You agree with that problem? I agree, your honor. The Thank fixing you. of the problem. Thank you. The second one is, I have to find out, and the committee has to find out. I'm sorry, sometimes I... We have to find out, ba paano nakalabas yan? Ba paano na-convert sa Green Lane? Samantalang may merong mga patakaran na pag dumating ang barko, we need way. We need way ang container. And I understand customs waive that. Dapat lahat ng container na dadaan, titimbangin. At pagka medyo mabigat, that is an indication na, oops, medyo mabigat ito ah. Titignan nyo yung entry, oops, oh, nakikita, nakatigil sa akin si Mr. Taguba, oops, medyo mabigat ito, pero ang entry, maliit lang. Oops, si Mr. Hilario, ngayon ko lang papansinin, sabi ni Mr. Hilario, oh, 40 mil lang ang binabayad ng mga ito, sunod-sunod, 40 mil, 38 mil. Di ba, Mr. Hilario? Tumimbre siya sa iyo, tumimbre siya kay Captain Gambala ba? Kay Captain Gambala o kay Captain Maestro Campo? Maestro Campo. Pero mukhang hindi napansin. Tama? Yes, Sir Honor. Tama, Mr. Hilario? Y yes, Mr. Chairman. Hindi napansin. Sinabi mo kay Captain Feldon. Ha? Huh? To the Import Assessment Service po. To the? Import Assessment Service. Sino yun? Uh, under the office of Dir Director Maestro Campo, Your Honor. And that office is also under... The command center, which is run by the, cost, the customs collect uh, chief, uh, the commissioner, right? Meron lang taong designated doon, pero as you said earlier, Captain Foyle Don, our first day here, you are you have command responsibility, and I commend you for that. Dapat talaga may command responsibility, sapagat matatakot ka sa sarili mo eh. So, hindi na pakinggan si Hilario, nakalusot ito. Pero hindi pa rin lubulusot, paano, hindi pa rin mapaliwanag, Paano nagkakayanan ng mga taguba na makonvert, ma-over, ma manansihan yung weighing, wala nag-weigh, manansihan yung x-ray, 
Sila kanyang x-ray, di pinapagawa. Paano nalalansiyan yung tao, katulad ni Hilario, na sinasabi, 40 mil lang, 40 mil lang binabayad? Pa, paano nalalansiyan? We have a problem. Sabi nga sa Houston, Houston, we have a problem. Ano ang solusyon? Unfortunately, you are the customs collector and it falls on your shoulder to say, fine-tune. Ayusin natin. Kanina may sinabi pa, hindi na kita tatalungin doon because sabi pa, tinanong ni, sa, ng, ni, ni Mr. Trillanes, Senator Trillanes, na itong si Panyawin na? Ang pangalan? Pinyawin? Pinawin. Tinanong ka, ah, sabi mo, bagman ni Captain Feldon si Pinawin. Tama? Your Honor, ang sabi ko po kay Colonel Estrella po siya kumukulekta. Ah, kay Colonel Estrella siya kumukulekta? Yes po. Yes, Para kay Honor. Colonel Estrella. And of course, dapat alam ni Captain Feldon yan. Well, nasa paligid niya yan eh. So, can you help us here find out kung sino yung nag-convert ng red line? First timer. Tumayo ka nga iha, please. First time ka lang, di ba? Sabagutin mo, yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. At kukuha mo lang ng board exam bilang teacher. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor. At wala kang kamuhang-muhang doon. Kinausap ka lang nung kapatid mo dahil kinausap siya ni Taguba na kung pwede gabitin yung pangalan mo para magpasok ka. Um, um, bali po, ta Your Honor, ako po ang pumilit sa brother-in-law ko. Pinili mo yung brother-in-law para kumita ka? Apo. Yun At binigyan ka ng Taguba ng 1,500 per box? Yes, Your Honor. At pumaya ka doon? Opo. At bahala na siya na makonvert sa green line o green lane yung ipapasok na umabot ng 690 ba? Hindi ko po Hindi alam. Hindi mo alam. Opo. So sa dami noon, nakapasok sa green lane. Kabago-bagong, ni walang ka naintindihan sa customs, nakapagtayo siya, nakapasok doon, na-discrash siya ang buong bansa. You have, a, you have an answer, sir? It's a moment, sir. Can you come forward? I, 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 I respect the gentleman when I met him and he's now that's another flaw and while he's sitting down that's another flaw you have a two-star general and you're a captain of the Marine Corps nandun siya sa inyo he is now your subordinate uh, even if he's your associate at work I find that incongruous because always, obviously a general will always have even if he's retired some form of uh, uh, moral influence over you or moral superiority over you or Colonel Strella. Now, uh, uh, General, uh, can you stand up, please, and re raise your right hand? Say your name, please. Deputy Commissioner Natalia Carma, Your Honor. <coughs> I, I solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear? I solemnly swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Honor. Let the record say that General Carma has just been sworn. Yes, sir, you had something to say? Your Honor, I believe... Uh, uh, Mr. Hilarios not telling the whole truth. He was telling the whole truth. Not telling, not the, telling whole the whole truth. truth. Can yeah. we come, what, can we ask Director Maestro Campo to come forward and uh, state the facts so that it, is, it will be very clear that uh, he did not do his job. That's why EMT was classified as green and not red. If Who you did not do his job, sir? Direct uh, Mr. Hilario, Attorney Hilario. But Your the Honor. process is such that there is a selective uh, unit, right? Uh, it's automatic almost. Which he headed at that time, Your Honor. All right. Is Mr. Maestro Campo here? Come forward, please. Another question while you're here. Colonel Estrella has said he has resigned. Captain Maestro Campo says he has resigned. In truth, you have resigned as a courtesy, correct? So it's really a Mickey Mouse resignation, correct? Hindi totoo. No, Your Honor. Uh, it's a sincere uh, effort, Your A Honor. courtesy resignation is defined under the law, and I check my jurisprudence, as a resignation offered uh, but not really meaning to. It is just a way upon which your, uh, your official, uh, the superior officer can now change you. You want me to read the, the definition? At the same time, Your Honor, uh, I filed the... Uh, Leave, Your Honor. Sorry? 
ay no, pandelito cancellera. No, the leave has nothing to do with it. A courtesy resignation by Mr. Maestro Campo and Colonel Estrella does not work as an official resignation. You're still in the department. Except for you, you're on leave. All right? So now, having said that, having clarified that, have that been clarified? You have not really resigned, right? You're waiting for the president who appointed you to accept your resignation, correct? Yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. Yes or no, Colonel Sergio? Yes, Your Honor. All right, having said that, and I don't have, do you want me to define what courtesy resignation is here under the law? Under uh, jurisprudence? No need. You accept this. You accept my word for it. Thank you. Now, having said that, you claim Mr. Hilario was not telling the truth. Please explain. When Mr. Hilario said that he told you na meron nangyayari na yes. na pumapasok na, na nasa green lane na 40 mil ang binabayad lamang. Na dati-dati, 120 dapat ang papasok sa gobyerno. Ngayon, 40 na lang. Yes, sir. Uh, first and foremost, regarding the selectivity, I, have, I don't know anything about that. But the second point is, uh, I'd like just to, uh, I'd like just to relay what had been established in Congress, Your Honor, uh, during last hearings, because it was established in Congress uh, during last hearing that Attorney Hilario was lying, and the point is, uh, sinasabi niya na wala kong ginawa, but I have, and dito sir yung request niya. Ang request niya is for value verification and we answered accordingly. It's for 83 entries. But to sum it up, sir, uh, he made it appear na parang may ano daw, may emergency, so nagpadala siya sa akin, so wala akong ginawa. That's, that's not the case, sir. It was also ex it was explained and established in Congress during last hearing. Ang nangyari kasi, sir, sinabi niya, nag-request daw siya sa akin ng alert. Andito yung document, sir, Walang alarm siyang ni-request. Ang ni-request niya for value verification. Yes. Tapos yung nakita niya, sir, hindi yun amount or cost ng isang HS code na for value. Ang nakita niya is anomalies between entries, between transactions, between numerous entries. Ang, that ang, indicate what? That is a risk factor, sir, and that's his job. That, that indicate what, Mr. Hilario? Existence of fraud, Your Honor. Para malaman ng tao, ano sinasabi mo? Mababa basado ang binabayad. The paid, uh, the paid taxes on those importations, Your Honor. Ang taxes, magkano ang average? Average of 40,000 for those importations filed by Mr. T.G. Marciliana on the three uh, different consignees for the week May 15 to 19. Mr. At kasabay mga consignees, si Turo mo, sino? Uh... Based on the record, it was Mr. T.J. Marciliano who was the broker. T.J. Marciliano, ano na yung tatlo na yan? Your Honor. Pompey. Uh, no, EMT. EMT Trading. Oh, Intercity. Inter Integrity Trading. Integrity. And oh. R-O-N-S-S. At saka? R-O-N-S-S. Magkano binahin mo doon? Tiko 40 mil. Tiko uh, 28 mil. Hindi ko, I think so. Oh, tama. At kung talaga ang ginagawa natin sa kosob sa trabaho natin, dapat i-winayway i yan. Kung winayway yan, magkakaroon ng indikasyon na dapat mas buksan yon para malaman kung malaki ang karga. Tama ba yun, TJ? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Tama. Okay. Tama yun, Mr. Hilario? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Tama yun, Captain Fairlong? Yes, sir. Okay, But thank you. Now... Sir, maybe Ang sinasabi may, mo, may ito ba? Ito ba? May test. Meron ako dito. Annex B. Nakalagay dito. Uh, uh, yes, na sir. May sulat si Hilario at sinagot yes. mo. At ang sagot dito ay... Respectfully returned at, and I have uh, to Deputy Commissioner Gerardo Gambala. Head Command Center, the here in person doors and forward in this office for value. Yes, it's all right. Value verification. In a, we never verify nothing on tama in value. Tama in shipment for subject shipments consigned to RO and SS trading, EMT trading, and integrity trading. Attached with this updated IAS reference value for certain AH codes applicable for the entries of the subject importers. 
any entry that has a commodity that falls below the IAS recommended value indicated in the last column. Tapos mayroon handwritten remarks. You want to read this? You want to come over? I, I have a copy, Your Honor. All right, read it. Read your handwritten remarks. Are those your handwritten statements? Yes, yes, Your Honor. I, I have noticed that Debcom Gambala is signed for alam niya ba ito? Because I have as I have stated, Your Honor, sa Congress, bali, first time to nangyari sa amin na, na 83 na entries ang request ng isang single office. That's why I have to, to say this kasi ang pangalan na kalagay, Deputy Commissioner Gambala, tapos pinirmahan ni Larry. Sir, I'd like just to make clarification para hindi ma, hindi ma mislead yung ano, sir. Uh, nobody is misleading it. Yes, I'm just listening to you. I'm not being misled. Go yes, ahead. Ang trabaho kasi ng office namin, sir, bawat HS code, titingnan namin kung tama ba yung rate of duty, yung bayad. Yung sinasabi po ninyo, sir, na computation of the customs duty already, uh, consisting of the, the cost insurance and freight, Ang nagko-compute po niyan, sir, examiner tsaka appraiser support. So, we, we cannot tell from our perspective, sir, kung tama ba yung binayaran niya na taxes, duties and taxes. But if we did do, do diligence, assuming you're correct, malalaman na niya. See again, sir? If we did your due diligence, kung nakakalata ka na ang dami ini-import nito, tapos 40 mil lang, 40 mil, dapat titim, malalaman mo na. Uh, hindi, sir, eh, kasi ang nagko- Bakit hindi? Ang nagko-compute po, sir, yung examiner at appraiser. Let me tell you very, very frankly uh, here. Ang target nyo ay about 490... 498 million. Huh? Ang nakuha nyo ay 300... Come on. 398 billion. Short na short kayo. Tapos, yun ang tinarget nyo na bago, ang nakuha nyo, 8 billion pa ang kulang. So, dapat, y yes, your honor. lahat ng radar ninyo, lahat ng sonar ninyo, lahat ng mata nyo, nakatugon doon sa papasok okay. para mahabol ninyo yung inyong target. In fact, kung ako ang Secretary of Finance, kung ako ang Chairman ng Bureau of Customs or Collector, I would say, magkano collection natin this month? Mababa tayo. We're only, we're behind by about so many percent. Magkano this month? We're behind by so many percent. Oy, kayo lahat dyan, abantayan nyo lahat dyan kung mapasok at para basigil nyo ng gusto. Tama ba yan? Yes, sir. And it can be clear, clarified because the examiner, what is this? I think, is here, sir, coming from the port. Sila po yung nagko-compute ng duties and taxes na bayarin dahil MICP po yan. So at least maklarify, sir. And Siguro sir last last point na lang as as I response yung sinasabi kasi ni Attorney Larry na nag-request sa akin ng alert hindi po sir nangyari yon nag-request siya ng alert sa Comsen and during that time So mali lang ang procedure niya hindi sir nag-request siya ng alert sa Comsen and during that time he was both the Comsen in charge and he was also the RMO Tama ba yun Mr. Because Captain Gambala is not around Your honor that's not correct your honor because oh. my Appoint my designation as officer in charge for the command center was for the period May 15 to May 19. Uh -huh. On the May 22nd, uh, there's May no longer 22. There uh -huh. was no longer authority for me to act. Sino na dapat? Uh, the head of the command center. Sino? Captain uh, Gambala. Dipong Gambala, Your Honor. Oh, eh, nakaliba tayo si Captain yes. Gambala na, di ba? Yes, sir. That's that's I'm what I'm saying. I'm trying to be fair sir. here, yeah. As far as my office is concerned, it's coming from RMO Comsen. Kung ano nangyayari sa kanila kasi sa Comsen, hindi ko po alam, sir. J uh, Jerry can explain that, sir. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you for this time. No? Kasi ho, yung, yung pag-uusap dito makes it look like normal yung nangyayari. Eh, meron na ho tayong witness nagsasabi na may binayaran siya sa loob. So, uh, you're talking kasi as if may regular yung, sir, yung, yes, yung sir, sir. trabaho ng mga tao. So, let me ask you first, uh, Mr. Maestra Campo, Nagsabi na ho si Mark, meron siyang binayaran. Ano ho tingin niyo nangyari? Sir, precisely during that time, tama po yung observation po ninyo, sir, na during that time, it's normal office hours because 22 po yung request niya for value verification. Pumutok po ang droga ng nila Colonel Estrella. I think 25 or 26, sir. Mm. That's what I'm trying to, to say, sir, that during that time, it was norm normal office hours. Meaning? He, he, wala pa yung bulabog ng droga, sir. And... 
Larry is making it appear. Be, wala pang wala pang bulabog ng droga, pero may nagbayad na para makapasok to na hindi chine-check. Sir, regarding po sa transaction nila sa port, how they pay their duties and taxes, it can be best explained by by the port uh, examiner, Your Honor. Yes, uh, Captain Gambala. Uh, yes, sir. I would just like to uh, add on what uh, Captain uh, Ma Director Maisie Campo said a while ago. Uh, actually, sir, yung, uh, if you would like to ask about yung, yung duties, why naging 40,000, sir? I think it could be best answered by the port examiner or the appraiser kung saan dumadaan sir yung mga entries ni ni Mark Tag nung EMT. And if I remember it right, during the Congress, siguro ma, ma, ma uh, kokorekto ni Mark, when he was asked, sino ba yung dinadaanan na examiner? I think you he mentioned a, a name. Eh. Uh, could you please... Uh, you, know, you, you know the name? What's the yes, name? I think it's, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, it was uh, Mr. Dennis Maniego. I think that's, that's what you, you mentioned. Na yun yung dinadaan so, lagi nung uh, EMT, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. So, because, sir, yung, to, just to clarify, sir, because yung nangyayari sa port, sir, especially, uh, it's an everyday transaction, sir. Ang talagang, if you want to know about what's happening sa port, sir, you need to ask yung mga district collector, sir, kung ano yung mga... But Captain Gambala, uh, yes, sorry, Mr. Chairman, di ba kayo yung command center? Y yes, sir. Kasi nung, nung, nung sinabing uh, nagkaroon ng command center na centralized yung decision-making process, Therefore, yung responsibility ng lahat ng yan, nasa command center na. Kaya if you notice yung mga tanong yes. namin, we always yes, go sir. back to the command center yes. because in fact, mayroong command center. Saka may so, overview na kayo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir may command center ka, may overview ka ng lahat yes, na nangyayari. Yes, sir. So, so po, yan, sir, po yung vision namin, sir, ng mangyayari sana, sir. Yung gusto namin mangyayari, sir. As what I had mentioned before, sir, nung, nung explain ko kay Senator Escudero the, the last time, sir. Sir, yung sana yung gusto namin makita, yung siya sabi ni... Uh, ating chairman, sir, yung, yung command and control system, sir, na nakikita mo yung nangyayari, sir, kasi we have 17 major ports, 38 sub-ports all over the Philippines. And we really need it, sir. Pero as of now, sir, we, we, we don't have any budget yet for the command center, sir. We don't have so, any... So you're saying nalusutan kayo? Yung, that's, that's your story? Nalusutan ang command center nitong transaction na to? As para sa I could say, sir, ito, nangyari, yun po ang nangyari ngayon, sir. All right, uh, if I may. First of all, I agree with the concept of a command and control center. Yes, sir. I'm with you on that. Second, there is no official status of a command and control system right now. Is that correct? Yes, yes, sir. In fact, there is no permission from the Secretary of Finance for the command and control system officially. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, I can see Mandy Anderson there nodding her head. All right? So, ibig sabihin, walang official na status yung command and control center. That is why... Ang lahat na makausap ko, pardon me, no? Yes, sir. Alam mo ako, tinatanong ko kung anong totoo. Hindi ako basta kikiling kahit na kahit na. Hindi ako kikiling kahit na. Ang sinasabi sa lahat na lahat, ang sources ko, naharapan ko, sa telepono, mga tao tumatawag sa akin, kasi ginawa nila yan, sinarili nila. So, mukhang magdududa kami. Sinarili nyo. Pagbabago, pag may nagbago, sabi sinasarili nyo. Pero, the fact of the matter is, sadly, nalusutan kayo ng napakalaking bilyon halaga ng droga ah, at bilyon halaga ng droga nung December ulit. So, lumalabas, ang daming lumulusot. At ang performance, ang costs bumaba imbis na tumaas. So, something is wrong. Now, it's unfair na sabihin ko na kasalanan niya kayo bumaba dahil kaumpisa nyo lang. I will even go as far as this. Panay military kayo, Kailangan talaga marunong yan. Ang tanong ko sa inyo, simple lang, under the new law, is it not true that dapat ang majority ng i-appoint a deputy commissioner ay dapat galing sa career? Do you know that? Captain Gambala, do you know that? Captain Fyodor, yeah. do you know that? Under the CMTA, sir, yes, sir. And is it the fact that it is not so na karamihan ay inyong mga kasama na mga kapitan, etc. Et That's natural. Alam nyo, dahil tayo pumapalpak. Eh. Sa immigration, pumalpak. May magkabista. May magkabrad. Kaya, nadali tayo doon sa immigration. Di ba? Napanood nyo naman yan, di ba? Magbrad sila. May nahuli ng daladala yung mali-maleta eh. Binabalidate pa. Yun ang sinasabi mo eh. Colonel Strada, 
lahat binabalidate. Sa huli na may maneta, binabalidate pa rin. O, tapos ngayon, eto na naman tayo, magkakasama kayo, violation of law na dapat majority dapat ay talagang dapat career. Ang totoo niyan, mas marami yung niligay nyo na hindi career. Tama o hindi? No, sir. Tama? No, sir. As no? far as I know, sir. Uh... No, are you sure? We, call, we, we counted it. I'll, the I'll fact find, of the matter is, I'll, I'll find it the majority this. is not career. Is there any civil service eligibility? That would be my second question now. Or is there a SESO? Because that is the rule again. Now, if you do not follow that, maliligaw kayo ng landas. I've been in the government for a long time, and alam ko, kung bisa nagmamadali ako, nadadaparin ako paminsan-minsan. Pero dito, hindi pwedeng lumagapak ng ganyan na mapipilitan tayo magbayad ng mas mataas na buwis dahil nalulusutan tayo. Samantalang kung yung kinuha ni Taguba ay nasingin natin, 97 billion, yun ang kukunin sa excise taxes. 98 billion ang makukuha, 97 billion ang kailangan ng gobyerno sa excise taxes. Ito talaga ang laking black eye ninyo. Hindi lang black eye, black eyes. Ayun, masisisi nyo ba kami kung ganito ang dating? Sir. Yes. Uh, I accept the fact, sir, that meron po kami mga pagkukulang, sir. Merong mga weaknesses yung system, sir. And uh, of course, sir, we don't sit in, com uh, in complacency. We, we, we do things that we think we could uh, uh, improve our system, sir. Pero uh, wala na, I don't know kung nandito pa po si Senator uh, Lacson, sir. Uh, I don't know. Kapalag siya. Yes, sir, because if I remember it right, sir, the first thing he asked when I, for the, uh, nung nagsimula po itong hearing na to, sir, is, and I keep watching it, sir, dun sa YouTube, sir, eh, kasi kailangan masagot siya, sir. Eh. Yung question, sir, bakit na green lane, sir? That's the question, sir. Eh. Yan yeah. yung unang-unang question, sir. Eh. Yes, yes, and, sir. And I hope, uh, Attorney Hilary is, is a good friend of mine. Ay, during, during sa, yung term, yung time namin, sir, na magkasama kami sa, sa Bureau of Custom. He is an old, old timer, sir. That's why I uh, depended on him for, for, for uh, legal, legal uh, uh, advices, sir. And I think he could answer that, sir. Eh. Kasi siya yung chief ng RMO. Right. I will, I'll take yeah. your word for it. Uh, Mr. Hilario, can you answer it? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Huh? Answer that, Your Honor. Go ahead. Your Honor, based on my understanding, the default mode for the selectivity, selectivity system is green for all importations coming in. When I assumed into office as the chief of the risk management office, I studied the mandate and the functions of my office. The primary function of the RMO is to, to conduct a continuing study and profiling of importers, brokers, and stakeholders. Second is the updating of the selectivity parameters. Your Honor. Selectivity? Uh, parameters. Selectivity parameters, Your Honor. Your Honor, I came across with the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, which is very critical in this issue, Your Honor. Under the World Treaty Agreement on Trade Facilitation, Article 7.4, it states that each member shall design and apply risk management in a manner as to avoid arbitrary or unjustifiable discrimination or a disguised restriction on international trade. Your Honor, when I show into office, as I evaluate the existing RMO risk management system, I noticed that every new consignee that is being accredited by the Bureau is automatically selected to red. Based on my understanding on this treaty agreement, Your Honor, it is discriminatory. Because the no, key... No, no, we're not after your assumption on discriminatory. You answered the point of Mr. Gambala. Mr. Gambala's point is you made a mistake. You're not telling the truth na ang sinabi mo lang ay value. Ang sinasagot mo yung UN declaration. UN declaration is for trade facilitation and to lessen corruption by lessening the bureaucracy. There are guided parameters, stage parameters, and there are rules para mabilis ang pasok. Now, will you please answer the question? 
Your Honor, the importation of EMT. EMT. EMT, Your Honor. EMT. E. EMT. Trading was unchecked because as of that time, there was no information that was provided to me that this company indeed already exists. Are you the one responsible for putting them in the green lane? Uh, before yes or no? No, no, Your Honor. You're not? Do you agree, Mr. Gambala? Answer the no. question. No, sir, because he is responsible to put parameters and data on the selectivity system. Is he the one in charge of putting somebody on the green lane? Yes, sir. You can mark it around the, the computer. No, he, he is the one who is in charge to put the name of the people who should be in the red lane, sir. The name or the, the company, parameters? Sir. The parameters and the data, sir, of the parameters company. Parameters and data are different from name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is, which is which now? Because when you put which a parameter... Which Parameters and data or names? Yes, sir. Because if you will put a parameter, sir, like, for example, sir, country of origin and tariff heading, that's your parameter. But when you... But you should put... Or new importer or sole proprietor, that's your para parameter, sir. The, the computer will not be able to identify every time a, a, a lodgement is... Uh, an entry is lodged, sir. It could only identify if it's a new importer or new or sole proprietor by its t tin it's a tax identification number and it should be put that that the tin of emt dapat sir na ilagay dun sa sa data nung selectivity system para every time sir parang sa sa bureau of immigration lang yan sir eh, pag dumaan ka yung passport mo pag yung pangalan mo sir hindi blacklisted tuloy-tuloy ka lang ito mm. sir pag sa selectivity system pag yung tin mo nakalagay dun sir at nag-lodge ka nilagay mo yung tin mo Pag nakita nung system, sir, na yung tin, yung tin, iiba-block niya yun, sir. Kasi inilagay mo, sir, eh. Parang ipinasok mo yung tin niya, eh. I so, understand that. But that's the computer already working, right? Yes, sir. So, that's why the computer, garbage in, garbage out, sir, eh. Kung yeah, ano yung pinilagay mo sa that. computer, sir, yun ang babasahin niya. So, ano, ano kinalaman ni Hillary doon? Kung computer, eh, siya nagpapasok ng parameters, di ba? Yes, and, and the data, so, sir. So, nagpapasok ng parameters sa ka-database? On updating of the uh, consignment, sir, owner. And updating of the consignee. So here's a case. Unang-unang pasok na ito, nakapasok siya ng over 600, nakapasok siya, green lane lahat, halos. Your Honor, because the data that I requested from the accounts man management office was not provided to me. So at the time, these importations of AMT arrived into the country and cleared mm -hmm. from the Bureau of Customs. I don't have any information that would be the basis for the red tagging if that's the case or not. If that is the case, who is in charge now of this RMO? Hindi na siya in charge ngayon. Sino in charge? Sa lang ang tatawin ko dyan eh. Yes, sir. Bakit tapos siya nang mahuli sila ng May 24 na lumabas sa Green Lane to? Bakit May 29, June, hanggang July, nagpapalabas pa itong EMT at Green Lane pa karabihan? Especially in June. Ah, Explain that to me. It should be the, the it should, I, what I know, sir, is when, when this case happened, sir, hit the accreditation of EMT was already uh, uh, suspended, sir. I I'll show it to you. Nakapasok sila. June and July. Right here. Can I ask the office concern, sir, to, to explain if it was suspended you or are not, the chair, sir? You are the head of the... Command and Control Center, it is your privilege, even if it is not official. Can I ask, our, yan yan eh. can I ask our account management an office, sir? Ang laking bulilyaso niyan. Nalaman ninyo, may, may, may konti nga kayo yung dyaryo. Eh. Ang dyaryo niyo lumalabas madaling araw. Hindi lumalabas sa dyaryo sa harap. Bukang may dumoktor doon sa talagang pinigil yung daytime at saka kung ano, halos madaling araw lumalabas yung balita na pinakamalaking na huli sa customs ay eh, lumabas ah, 1.30 in the morning, lumabas ng 2.30 in the morning, pero hindi nakita sa front page ng dyaryo. Yung ay isang gusto kong tanong yun eh. Kung normally, ah, Kung may nahuling ka dyan, dapat ang lalaki na ng litrato ng PIDEA, laki ng hall, ng NBI, ng customs, nasa dyari na yan, front page, ang laki-laki ng hall na nahuli. Dito hindi lumabas. Pero, 
ang hindi ko maintindihan, ang laki ng putok na ito, dapat, hindi na nakalabas yan. Eh, nakalabas pa eh. According to our uh, account management officer, the EMT, was, EMT trading was already suspended uh, effectively May 30, 2017. Sir. May 30, sir. Basahin mo ito. May 29, yung June, kung ninyo. Nakapagpalabas pa sa June. Sa July. Nakapagpalabas pa eh. O, oh, bakit? Explain that to me. Explain that to the committee. Okay, can I ask the port collector of MICPC to explain, sir, what happened? Who is the port collector? Uh, I think it, I, attorney Marunila, sir, because he also explained it at the Congress hearing, sir. You're still on the road, Mr. Marunila. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, the, I would, li would like to see the list, Your Honor, because there are uh, shipments from EMT trading. Although, uh, on record, Your Honor, they're perceived to have uh, um, completed the process. We held them at the ICTI, so ICTS, ICTSI holding area. So, dahil nga po green, hinabol ho namin na wag na rin makalabas at hinold ho namin dun sa area na yun. But the system... the authority to hold? Your Honor, I requested... That's why I requested also, Your Honor, from... No, no, my uh, question is, do you have the authority to hold? Yes or no? No, no Your Honor. <laughs> you have to request, right? Yes, Your Honor. So, even that, Burillaso na. Nakita mo ng verde yan, na nasa verde na naman to, dapat, ikaw na dapat pinara mo na, tama? Yes, Your Honor. Yun ang dapat gawin, tama? Yes, Your Honor. Pero kailangan maghingi ka pa ng permission, tama? Yes, Your Honor. Yun ang mali, tama? It, it delays mali, the process. Mali, mali, mali. Now, ito. June 2, EMT. Gloves, place mat, storage box. 10.29 to 10.20 a.m. Inflatable toys, brush comb, photo album. June 2 ulit. Garments, fabrics, cabinet food. EMT lahat to, ha? Ito may mga number. You want to take a look at it? You're welcome to take a look at it. It's clear as day. Nahuli na. Lumabas pa. Paano nangyari yan? You may come forward, any of you. You know, I do my homework here. I got this from MCTI or IMC, ICTI. Ano na? Ano? Yun ang sinabi ko. The boss is always right. Biro lang yan. Oh, okay. Sir, I'll come back on audit. I'm sure, sir, a lot of it were... Although in... Speak to the microphone. Sir, in the system, sir, would sometimes say yes it's gate gate out sir because if it's green lane sir there is no uh all ex examination flags are up it's pre-cleared so even the port sir the examiners doesn't have any authority to release or hold the shipment yeah. uh, because it's pre-cleared but uh when this thing happened sir and uh when we were looking at the and and we were looking at the accreditation of emt and it was not yet being cancelled uh the gates made a conscious effort, Your Honor, to try to catch uh, whatever it is that, that are still in the, in the gates. So, and, Why, and put it at the whole maybe area. you can go back na lang, sir, kasi you might be crowding our chairman. Bakit hindi na cancel after May 25? May 25 po yung raid, no? Tama, uh, um, Colonel Estrella? May 25 to May 26, Your Honor. May 26. At May 26, why didn't you cancel the EMT training. Ito, so suspended on May 30. Actually, meron naman pala. No? But this is, oh, this is from Customs. This is signed by Mr. Bartolay. No? Bartolay ba ito? O Bartolay? Bartolay? Anyway, paano siya nakalabas ng June 2? If it was suspended on May 30, paano nakalabas on June 2? Okay lang, mag-request pa yung port collector para mapigil. Paano mo nagagawa yun, Mr. Taguba? Huwag na natin tanungin yan. The fact is, lumalabas pa rin eh. Your Honor, nakat po yung consignee. Meron po kasi mga container na nakapagbayad na kami. Pero na... Kahit na nakapagbayad. Your Honor, may... Ano nga, nagbayad. Lalabas pa rin sa gate. May I allow to explain? Pag nagbayad doon sa gate, pag labas doon, para ka. Your Honor, may I allow to explain? Hmm. Nakat po kasi yung team ng EMT, May 30, Sa system po kasi ng bureau, 
kahit po nakat po ng May 30 yan, kung may OLRS na po siya, po possible po siyang makalabas. Ang OLRS, Kaya, uh, May 24, uh, May 25, May 26, since hindi po siya covered, May 30. Ayan o, ang OLRS. Uh, since hindi po siya covered ng alert, so possible po talaga siyang makalabas. Alright. Uh, okay, y yung concern kasi dito, we found out because of EMT trading, may 6.4 billion peso shipment ng drugs. Hindi ba mag-alert na kayo niyan na talagang hahanapan nyo lahat ng mga shipment nila to ensure na walang ibang papasok? And that's what you did, May 30. Pero may nakalabas pa rin noong June 2. So, meron bang order from the command center na hindi sinundan? A ano yung nangyari doon kaya nakalabas pa rin? We don't even know kung yung mga shipment na yan, totoo yan o hindi, o kung may drugs yan o wala. No? Sige, Mark. Your Honor, sinab sinabject po yan ng voluntary examination. Pina in alert po yan, in-examine naman po nila. O, oh, in-examine ba ito? So, in-sniff po ng dog, lahat po ginawa naman po nila sa... Okay, so it was examined. 100% examination, Your Honor. Walang plus cylinders. Plus x-ray, plus uh, it was all the, the contents of the shipment was uh, sniffed by the drug sniffing dogs of the ESS. Itong shipment ba yan, Hong Fei rin yan? Hindi na? Your Honor, hindi po lahat. Kasi po yung... Hindi naman po lahat ng importation ni EMT is Hong Fei. Uh, Hong Fei. Sandali ha, kahit na ba sabihin ninyo, basta pumutok na yan ng May 25, kanyari nalaman nyo May 26, common sense yan, pigil lahat yan. Common sense. Wala na yung OLRS. Nahuli na nga yung drugs eh. Magpapalabas pa kayo sa same company? Ano ba tayo? Baga tanga? Are you trying to fool us? Oh, pakulong na kayo lahat yan eh. Now, sino ang IAS dito? IAS. Director ng Maestri Campos. Si Maestri Campos ba binibigyan mo? Hindi ba sinabi mo? Your Honor, ang sabi ko po, yung tita nani po yung binibigyan ko. Saan si tita nani? Yung tita nani po yun yung nagsasabi, nag, nagsasabi na Davao Group daw siya. No, hindi ko tinatanong siya nagsasabi. Saan siya nakakonect? Your Honor, hindi... Where is this first uh, report? Yung nilagyan niya lahat. Hindi ba sinabi mo si Katil Maestra Campo kasama? Yung... Yes or no? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, kasama. Are you getting feed from Mr. Maestra Campo? Kaya ang inalagay mo ay eh, panay undervalued shipments under the same mode, continuous, unabated. Tuloy-tuloy na mababa ang bayaran because nabibigyan ka ng feed ng IAS. You know, I'm, yes. you know, you'd be surprised. I'm getting information left and right here from highly placed people who knows customs. So stop lying! Oh. Yes, Your Honor. So binibigyan ka ng feed ng IAS, yung sa HS. Yung sa kwan, sa tinatawag na HS. Para yes. bumaba. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Nasa si Rainer Ragos. Bakit ba hindi may produce si Rainer Ragos? Did we not subpoena Your Honor, guy? Your Honor, uh, Your Honor may, pa pabalik na po sa naman nila, nilibing lang po niya yung kanyang ama na namatay nung nakaraang linggo niya. Ang ilang ama na yung namatay na yan, I'm sorry to be very, very sarcastic here. It's not my nature. Well, I'm sick and tired. He is at the center of this. He got the information and he has been called several times and he has not appeared here. Your Honor, may, may be recognized. Can... Can I lawyer for myself, Your Honor? I, hindi po kami magkakilala ni Mark, Your Honor, and wala po, akong bini, wala po kaming binibigay na HS. Yung HS code po, nasa libro po yun, sir, open, open source. Uh, I, I'm appealing to you, sir, because I, I, my name was wrongfully dropped. I know, I saw you on TV Congress. and I felt for you. And that's why I'm giving all the opportunity. Yes, it's sir. not my pleasure here to put other people under scrutiny. 
until they start lying, until they start telling me things that uh, insult the imagination and intelligence of this committee. Nagkaharal yes, kami dito, lahat to, puyat to mga ito, kagabi puyat kami lahat. Yes, Your Honor. Ilang That's linggo why, na yan. That's why, Your Honor. Eh, pag sinasabi sa akin ni Captain Feldon, I have to protect my men, they work hard, I understand that. Yes, Your Honor. Pero kung pumapalpak, I have to call a strike the way I see it. Yes, Your Honor, I agree. But in that case, Your Honor, that's why I also expressed my intention sa Congress na kung sino yung tita nani na yan. Because apparently, from my perspective, I, I really don't know, Mark, but apparently may gumagamit ng pangalan ng IAS to collect money on the All right, ground. and that is why, again, Captain Maestro Campo, tatlong buwan na ito eh. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa kayong resulta. Sabi sa mga doktor, physician, heal thyself. Kung may sakit kayo, huwag nyo kami hintayin gamutin kayo. Dapat gamutin nyo na kagad. Yung sarili nyo. E eh, kung hindi nyo kinagamot yung sarili nyo, pag dumating kami, talagang matatamaan kayo ng gusto. Fair? Yes, sir. That's why... Pero dalawa, tatlong buwan na yan. Sir, Ang dami na nagputukan, no? Yes, sir. In, from my perspective, sir, yung pangalan ng unit namin na IAS, kanina, sir, may mga katanungan po sana eh, na sinasagot na ni Mark, yung small or sino yung mga tao na yun. Because I also would like to find out who is using the name of our unit, sir. Mark Taguba is here. Oh. Yes, sir. Bali, kanina po may katanungan na patungkol doon. Doon po kasi nag-emanate yan eh. Uh, yung, yung tita nani, small, yung... You know, kani sir. Kanina, sir, may tinatanong na sa kanya nung first part. Diyan po kasi nag-emanate yun, sir. These are specific information being sent by people who know customs. Yes, sir. As for the record, sir, uh, hindi po kami nagbibigay ng kahit anong... anong well, I hope not because that will have to be found out. This is not a criminal investigation. Yes, Your Honor. This is an investigation in aid of legislation but yes. principally... Uh, to make people who are supposed to be accountable in government accountable for malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance. Yes, Look it Honor. up in the dictionary. Yes, Your Honor. And I'd like to... Kaya kung kayo hindi nyo kinuha ang trabaho nyo, dali kayo yes. rito. Kung mali ang paggawa nyo ng trabaho, dali yes. kayo rito. Kung mali ang paggawa nyo at talagang uh, meron kayo malintensyon, tama rin kayo dyan. You know, it's... I, I don't find happiness on this. None of us do. We respect all of you until you disrespect yourselves. And you have to acquit yourselves here. That's why we, this is a hearing. That's why I have to take all my patients to go to Captain uh, Feldon and say, Wag mong sumagot ka lang. It's your time to answer. Now, Ayan ang definition. Dong. Nahanap ko sa Senator Laxon. Habang wala pa si Senator Laxon. Because alam ko meron siyang ilalabas dito malaki. Ikaw ba ay naimbisa ka ng uh, polis sa Cebu? Uh, Yung ano, hindi ko po alam. Hindi mo alam? Hindi mo alam? Are you sure? Do not lie. Hindi po talaga. Kobeto, Central Visayas Police to probe Kenneth Dong. Hindi ko po alam na. Bakit ako... You know, you have all kinds of pictures. Pati ako, bigla lubas yung litrato ko. Hindi ako nagpakuha sa inyo nung inimbestiga ka namin eh. Biglang lumabas yung litrato ko, kasama ka. Siguro nung panahon ng kampanya, na, nahila mo ako, palitrato ka. Ugali ninyo yan eh. Patapos kami ang mga nandito, sisising, kukunin yung ninong, kukunin yung ninang, tapos lalabas. Pati yung si Mr. Teng. Ipakita nyo nga yung litrato ni Mr. Teng at pakita lang, patranslate nyo doon sa tao kung ano nakalagay doon sa, uh, nakalagay doon sa sign na nakalagay doon sa likod nila. In the title ni Richard Cheng. Cheng. So you are being investigated right now by the police, not only for drugs, but for a very, very, for other issues. Right? 
Right? Opo. And there are other issues upon which you're also involved of a personal nature which I'm not going to divulge here. Uh, sorry, Tagalog lang po. Hindi na mabibisto ko na pag sinabi ko sa Tagalog. Huh? Gusto mo sabihin ko? Hindi huh? ba may problema ka rin sa personal? Yes po. Oh, sige, huwag na natin pag-usapan yan. So in other words, ayan. Si Captain filed doon. Hindi ko maintindihan, Captain, eh. That was a poor, poor, uh, what, eh? Inappropriate, eh. Bakit, uh, etong, etong nakalagay dito sa likod? Ano ba, ano ba ang basa nyo doon sa likod? Sino ba yung expert si John? Ito ba yung magandang? Pakibasa mo nga lang ito. Ano siya nasabi sa likod? Kurikin nyo na lang ako. Sabi, knowing good people is good for your business and good for your connections. In other words, having a network. Uh, so I have your picture taken with your favorite senator, congressman, governor, son of the president, the president, and every other politician that you can catch on to. Para malakas kayo. That's a very, very bad habit. Sa kayo nasa likod doon? Oh, can you translate? Yes. Can you come over here and tell me what your name is and raise your hand again? <coughs> and your name is? Uh, my name is uh, Wang Ji Yun. Are Nickname. you Filipino? I'm not Filipino, I'm Chinese. Okay. Born and raised in China? Yes, I was born in China. All right, thank you. What's your name again? Uh, Mr. Wang. Wang what? Wang Ji Yun. Wang Ji Yun? Yes. All right, okay. You try to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Uh, yes. By doing the translation, yes. Yes, okay. Can you do the translation? <laughs> of course. You have to sort it. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh. Let me qualify you first. You are, you are translating for Mr. Manny, right? Yes, uh, right. but I, I'm kind of nervous here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um. If a person wants to do a uh, shipment business, uh, he is required to have the following condition. Uh, to know math and uh, physics, and uh, knows how to drive computer, knows uh, photographing, knows how to do WeChat, communication with people, uh, knows how to chase for debt, uh, knows uh, money transactions, knows accounting, financing, uh, knows how to negotiate price, drinking tea, drinking alcohol, knows how to sing and uh, nice talking, uh, knows how to play cards can stay all night long, can wake up early, um, can bear with uh, some situation, and knows how to give up. So, so uh, what does it mean in terms of uh, you have to know people, um, good people, prominent people, Basically, this is something like expressing how hard is it to be uh, doing this kind of business, and then he is posting this to thank his friends for their care and concern. Yeah, so basically, it's hard to do business, and it would help if you have friends. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. And what is the one in the back? Signify 1898? <coughs> is that the, just the association? Uh, 1998? I think that's the logo of the lo logo of the Hongfei company. Yeah. 
So basically, this is his philosophy. Hello. Yes. Yes. Is that the same? In the case of Colonel Estrella, can you show the picture? Ah, oh, no, this is uh, something like WeChat. He's uh, putting it on WeChat, right? Uh, I think this is a post from WeChat, and the trainees work here are the same. Okay, same, the same, they're the same? Same as there, yes. So basically the same. Work is easier, less harder if you know people. <laughs> So yung mga kandidato ng senador, ang kandidato ng governor, huwag kayo magpapalitrato basta-basta kung di nyo kilala. <laughs> Nakakatalo yun. <laughs> anyway, uh, ha? Yeah. Yeah. So, basically, my advice to the customs is really clean up your house uh, we're going to meet with the other members of the committee immediately so we can make a preparatory report, hopefully this afternoon, uh, at the request of the Senate President. And we will try very hard to try and be fair here. So, uh, are you going to have a motion? Yes, uh Mr. Chairman, yes. uh, may I move that uh, the committee prepare a uh, preliminary report uh, so that we can wrap up this uh, issue at the soon as possible time? So perhaps you can take it up with the entire committee later. Uh, I will take uh, the matter in advisement because uh, Senator Lakshon is not here. I wish he had been here because he would. Uh, uh, he was going to. Uh, I was told that he was going to deliver, uh, make some remarks on the matter of. Uh, with all due respect, uh, Vice uh, 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 Majority Floor Leader. In the matter of Mr. Lee and Mr. Uh, Chen, I I can entertain a motion to set them free temporarily, but. With the advice to the uh, Bureau of Immigration uh, that uh, there be on a whole departure order for the moment, that they cannot leave the country until the termination of all investigation concerning the case. This is just a request uh, to the Senate President. Uh, do you understand? Do you understand? The yes. lawyers understand? Yes. Please stand up. Lawyers? No, 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 no. Just here, but we're not to it. And I'm happy to say, okay. So you know how to speak English, huh? You're naughty, naughty. Ah, kongte dang, kongte, kongte dang. Also apply a whole departure order. On the Taguba, on TJ, on uh, Ms. Tatad, Kenneth Dong, Mr. D, uh, the brother-in-law, and of course uh, Elena, and the other person, uh, uh, Mr. Anoche D. I would like to uh, find out from the NBI and the uh, uh, later on uh, from the uh, Idea whether, as we know, parang budigero lang yan si ano siya We're after the big fish here. I do not want to be unfair to anybody, but if he cooperates, if he knows, and I'm sure he's cooperating, we should uh, try and give him some support. I'm. I don't normally say that, but I will say that because obviously, sabi ano kaya ng kapatid, atutulungan yung lang del nakakakuha do sa renta ng uh, bodega ng bahay yung siya, unless you find out uh, other things. 
In the meantime, I will uh, suspend the hearing. When is the next hearing? Up to 22 August. What day is that? As you can see, my comsec always gives me a hard time trying to make me pick up things for him. But he's a very competent man. August 22 at 10 o'clock a.m. for everyone. And make sure that this guy, uh, Captain Perdon, do you have your word as a gentleman that you will bring in this guy, Rainy Ragos? And yes, Your Honor. Pinawin? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I will hold you to your word. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Chairman. Yes. May we take up the issue of the contempt, uh, lifting of the contempt with the Senate President? Uh, 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 the, the, two reason the two gentlemen were um, issued a contempt or uh, were uh, cited for contempt was because uh, they were evasive they were and not, did uh, not want to answer um, uh, properly. Uh, they have been answering properly and um, they were not evasive in this hearing. So uh, perhaps we can take it up with the Senate President. The, the contempt, uh, That's sorry. what I said, but uh, also with the request that they, there be a hold order, hold departure order until the termination of the case. Same thing goes for uh, uh, the two uh, Chinese and the, and, the, and the people here involved. And I hope that at the next hearing, I would like to get a specific report on who actually cleared the green line, the green lane. That is something that I would like the NBI uh, to take a look at very, very closely uh, and to make a report on on how uh, these things happen, all right? Including the post uh, shipment afterwards. Yes, Your Honor, we'll do that, Your Honor. Having said that, I again, I there is no uh, personal animosity here we're trying to be fair here to everyone, and I thank uh, uh, all of you for participating heartily into this uh, session. We suspend the session until August the 22nd at 10 o'clock a.m. Thank you all very much, and God bless the Philippines.